134, vacating the runway, contact ground 122, nose more 25, good morning. 225, vacating 19 left, good morning. That was 434. Car 11 at uh, Alpha 7, into runway 19 left. At Alpha 7, into runway 19 left, car 11. Morning, Boston 908. Boston 908, Brisbane Tower, good morning. Assigned heading left 150, line up runway 19 left and wait. Uh, line up and wait for 19 left and uh, just confirm we can't put the standing departure in the green. Uh, Boston 908, uh, apologies, stand by. Copy vacated, thanks. Velocity 9-0, disregard the last uh, departure instruction will remain on the uh, seat. Okay, and uh, just confirm lining up. Excellent line up, one on left. Line up, one on left, thanks, Velocity 9 zero. Hey, everyone. Good morning from Brisbane. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Julia Flights family here this morning. Welcome to a Sunday show. Very special Easter Sunday. Public holiday. As always, great to be back. 
to have some fun while watching planes live from Brisbane Airport. Hello everybody, good to have your company. Guys, welcome, welcome to the show. We we out here today. We're going to do the Easter morning rush here at Brisbane. Uh, lovely to have everybody's company. Hopefully you all doing well. Let us know. Hope you've been having a relaxing long Easter weekend. Uh, Gavin, hello. How are ya? Good morning. How are you doing? What's going on? Did we manage to get the A380? Snuck in there a little. Right on time. <laughs> snuck in there early, didn't it? Um, yeah, right. Really early. Right before six, so we we're rushing to capture the arrival of the big boy. Just had some nice tailwinds. Right this on time. And that was a beautiful landing as well. Rain showers about too out there. And Perfect. Beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful. 19 degrees. It feels warmer than that. Beautiful day. Perfect weather conditions for plane spotters. And great news, Gavin. One of uh, one of our um, friends, nine, who's a pilot on the Virgin nine, one, one, Australia, right. is going to give us a wave. He's uh, operating Virgin Australia flight 314 to Melbourne. We, he yeah, will we, try we and give us it. a wave. We can't miss it. <laughs> we got to remember. <laughs> That's right. Just a 928 contact departure. Uh, scheduled uh, departure time 7:55. Uh, local Brisbane time. Uh, yes, we'll get a wave, guys. Yeah, from that Danny. was Danny. He was on the show a few weeks ago. Now, wasn't he? He popped on the mic, said hello to everybody. He's a captain on seven three seven. Yeah, Virgin pilot with uh, experience on the triple seven and A three thirty aircraft. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, welcome to the show t uh, this morning. We're going to capture the morning rush here at Brisbane Airport. Can I want to get to a vacate Tango 10? And happy Easter! Public holiday. You know, guys, what you need to do. Long go weekend is a super long weekend. Super long weekend. Uh, go to the fridge, grab some snacks. Uh, if you're on this side of the world, breakfast or coffee? Chocolate for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Chocolate bunny. Ask your mum and dad before you do that. <laughs> Tell your family to join you. Sit back, relax, enjoy the coverage here today at Julia Flights Live. We've got you covered, guys. And uh, we've got the first super chat from uh, Klaus. Old Chen Klaus. Uh, to a Euro super chat. Thank you so much, uh, Klaus. Happy Easter. For, um, all over the world. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you too, a viewer from Germany. Hope you guys been well. Big long weekend. Thank you so much Klaus for tuning in. And thank you for your donation. That is very, very kind. Happy, happy Easter. Uh, hello to uh, Rigoberto. Uh, Gojo is in the house as well. Nat King. Hello Nat. Welcome. Good morning. We've got a one nine right departure. Amira, hello. Welcome to the show. Uh, we've got our moderator, Eric Ask. I just tuned in from Norway. Eric, thanks for for all your help as always. Our wonderful moderators here on Julia Flights. Eric is one of them. The Glasshouse Mountains out there today looking very nice in the morning. And Mitesh, 
beautiful view. Just look at that. Really nice visibility. Pan Yin, hello. Oops, I'm just in the way of the camera there. A good morning, uh, David B. Hello, um, Sharon. Julian, Mr. Bandido, 66, one of our moderators here on the channel as well. Not only looking after our German viewers, but everyone here in the chat. Thank you so much, Julian. Jive Turkey, Steve, welcome. Steve, good morning. And we've got Steve from Mackay, Christopher Cotton. Chris Cotton's here too. Hello, Chris. Welcome, uh, weatherman here on the channel. Welcome to the show. Uh, Rab 1967. Hello there. Quanta 737 rolling now. Where are you going to this morning, Qantas? Uh, flight 750 Townsville. That one Townsville is it? Off the left side. All right. Yeah, that was very really tricky. <laughs> How good well. is this? Oh. Still within uh, Queensland, the state of Queensland. How good is this weather this morning? Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Quad 505, contact the barges, g'day. Come on in, Quad 505. Mitesh is saying happy Easter Julian Gavin, happy Easter to you guys, happy Easter, hope you, you're doing well. Happy Easter, looks like we've got United there already coming on in, so everything's super early. Everything is running very early Everyone's in a rush this to get to Brizzy. morning, absolutely. Uh, Tutu SB, welcome to the show. Shirley, hello. Uncle Paddy, welcome. And uh, Matthew Barrow, uh, Srinivas, lovely to have you on the show, guys. Uh, two active runways, one nine left and one nine right this morning here at Brisbane Airport. Many international arrivals to steal the show. And what a great way to start the show this morning with the arrival of our Emirates A380. We just made it in time. Yeah, arrived super early. All stations, information mic changes, wind 2 7 2 0 0 degrees get a Also busy for for our domestic domestic flights. This one is Qantas 609 off to Melbourne, Telemarine. 96 roll through vacate Alpha 9, wind 190 degrees, 7 knots, Charlie 190 left, clear to land. Uh, Judith Oswald, hello Judith. Um, thank you. 
for donating uh, two euros to the channel. Much appreciated. Happy Easter to everyone. And Julian Gavin, thank you, Judith. Happy Easter. Thanks so much for keeping us company. Thanks, Judith. A special welcome to all of you hanging out with us this morning. Very, very. So united, we're going to get ready nice to, to, to rate this landing. Um. <laughs> That's right. We can't forget. We saw the landing the other day. Was it Friday morning? Yeah. They nice wheel stand there. Yeah. <laughs> if you missed it, guys, check it out on, on Julia Flight's Instagram. Yeah, we were told that the crew actually, they, they watched that landing back. So They loved it. They loved it themselves. They were happy with their own landing. <laughs> Good morning, they scored themselves a 10. Uh, you actually gave them an 11. <laughs> it was 11, the highest. That's breaking records here. And Mr. Bandido Julian uh, gifting five Julia Flights memberships. Uh, thank you so much, Julian. Happy Easter. Uh, as always, thank you so much for your support, for all, all these amazing things that you've been doing for this channel. Thanks, Julian. Yeah, thanks, Julian. Our moderator from Germany. Congratulations to all the five newest members here on the channel. So Baz has turned up to say hello to United. Oh, Baz is here. Hello. Let's welcome Baz, everyone. Uh, official mascot here on Julia Flights. And let's rate this landing, guys, from one to ten. United. You know the Dreamliner. What do you guys think about this landing? Let us know. I'm going to say a nine and a half. That was a, it was a, a good landing, but not much going on there. It was just a, a good landing, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, welcome, United Flight 96. Yeah, you couldn't do much better than that. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably being harsh there. Coming in. Sorry, guys, girls. From. San Fran. Yeah, I'm going to say nine and a half. <laughs> nine and a half as well. As well. Very proper landing, right? I would yeah, say. It was, <laughs> that looked good from my angle anyway. Let's see what our, our viewers what else think. think about this one I see a seven wow I, have, I see a lot of tens <laughs> Amitesh, Eric, Amira, uh, Rigoberto, uh, Jive Turkey, uh, Gojo, uh, all tens they're all tens Lance saying 9.7, uh, Ricochet 9.8, Oscar the Cat 10 out of 10. Yeah, see 9.8, that's that's a good score. It's basically basically giving it a 10 without saying 10. Uh, Mr. Wotsi, as <laughs> hello <laughs> Mr. Wotsi. I snuck it into that corner. As a typical maths teacher, 9.333 uh, <laughs> repeater. <laughs> Oopsie, but still a great score. <laughs> what are we coming in next? The Jetstar. Uh, welcome, United oh. Flight 96. Welcome Quarter, to Brisbane. Corner 62 from Tokyo. Another butter machine there. And Pedro is in the house as well. Uh, Madeira Airport Sporting. Hello, Pedro. Uh, thank you so much for redirecting your viewers to Julia Flights, uh, straight from a beautiful Madeira Airport to Australia. A matter of seconds. 
Yes, How great is that? Corner 62. Uh, thanks. Uh, Madeira Airport spalling. Amazing uh, channel over there in Madeira. Got banner machine, Gavin. Oh, he kept the nose wheel up at a decent time. That's that's a ten. We just started the show and we've got so many great landings. Because that Emirates A380 was was pretty good as well. Yeah, I was in too much of a rush to watch that Emirates A380. <laughs> Yeah, why? It arrived so early. And Klaus, hello once again. 162, contact ground 122. Say happy Easter to everyone from Germany. Welcome uh, once again. Thank you so much for joining us here today, Klaus. Uh, celebrating five months as a member here on Julia Flights. Welcome to Brisbane Airport. Hope you're doing well, Klaus. We got you covered. Uh, thank you for, for your company. Oh, that, one, that one deserves some high scores. Uh, sending you best wishes, Klaus. Thank you for tuning in. Air 407, roll through and vacate. Eric, hello, Eric. Welcome to the show. Morning, Eric. A Korean next to. Uh, Jive Turkey saying, wow, the Easter Bunny has been to the first class lounge here on Julia Flights. There are Easter eggs everywhere. <laughs> Amazing. Great stuff. Glasshouse Mountains out there this morning looking nice. Uh, Lance Cole, hello Lance. Uh, Gavin, I hope you've rested after that 2 a.m. start yesterday. Happy Easter to you both. Thank you. Yeah, I'm all good. Thanks, Lance. Yeah, well, that was a very early start for Gavin. Uh, Reinhardt, welcome. Slight, yeah, small rain shower out there passing over to the northwest. And uh, Reinhardt uh, has joined our Red Plane crew, member for six months already here on Julia Flights. Amazing, thank you so much. Uh, Reinhardt saying good morning, Julian Gavin. Hello there, Reinhardt. Love to have your company. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Happy Easter and hello from, from Brizzy. It looks like rain there. Yes, just a small shower out there passing over. It's not going to affect us. It looks like we've got Korean. Uh, thank you for being here, Reinhardt. Much, much appreciated. I th think I see a question in there. Can someone explain a butter landing? Well, let's, let's have a look at this Korean. See how the Korean does. And Trice to Darren is in the house as well. Darren. And look, Baza has been here the whole time. How how nice of Baza to be keeping us company this morning. Korean air. Korean air coming in. Flight four zero seven. Well, who was asking what what a butter landing is? I think right there. That pretty much explains it up. Explains it in the one picture. All 
of these pilots are really giving us nice Easter surprise here with these landings. Yeah, that was smooth. Smooth like butter. Well done, Korean Air. Welcome to Brisbane. A trace to Darren is in the house. Hello, Darren. Love to have your company. Thanks for all your help. Car 11 at Mike, enter runway 19 left. Uh, hello, X Wing. Happy Easter to you too. Thanks for tuning in. Louis De Han, welcome to the show. And Mr. Wattsy, Craig Watts. Hello once again, Craig. Uh, uh, dropping twenty dollars. Thank you so oh, much. Thanks, very, Craig. very kind. Uh, good morning, my favorite students. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Mr. Wattsy, I think we on as uh, school holidays, right, Gavin? <laughs> So we should be fine. Well, there you go. No homo. I see you got um, Lord Procrastri. <laughs> oh, another another math teacher. That's right. He's got the scientific things going on there. Maybe Craig Watts can explain that. Um, <laughs> and not too much chocolate today. <laughs> uh, love from Wattsy. Thank you so much. We'll make sure we uh, don't eat too many. Easter eggs today. Thank you, thank you, Craig, for joining us here today. Very, very kind of you. Yeah, uh, we love, thanks, Craig. Yeah, we love having your company on the show. Thank you. Uh, Jacob is watching us from Perth, saying thank you for your stream, wishing you a great day. Thanks so, so much for that. Yeah, let's do some plane spotting today, this beautiful morning here at Brisbane. You guys are hanging out today with Julian Gavin for the next, let's say, f five hours. Nah, we'll see. We'll, totally we'll, up see. To you. we'll see how we go. I got nowhere else to be. We'll so see. It's totally up to you. Yeah, we'll see how many of those five minutes we manage to have. We need, um, yeah, the scientific mathematic professor to work out your five minutes equation. <laughs> We, we've got oh, some I've got in the no chat. idea how it works. Uh, this is a plane spawning, guys, from Brisbane down under. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for being here today. A sunny arrow saying good morning uh, from a sunny San Francisco. Welcome. Oh, sounds nice. Lon Barker, welcome to the show. <laughs> a good Canadian uh, Saturday night to you. Thank you. Batics coming in as well. Easter morning for us, the, f the last day of March. Oh, yes. After 2024. Uh, okay. Tomorrow will be already, will be in April. Speaking of Air Canada, it's about 35 minutes away. 40,000. Whoops. 40,000 feet still. And Baza is still with us, guys. He's still hanging out there. Let's have a look at Baza. RS, hello, welcome to show. Happy Easter, Baza. Car 11, thank you. 816, wind 180 degrees, 7 knots. Sarah Jane is in the house as well. Morning, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Happy Easter. Beautiful morning. There you go. Baza's singing. 
<laughs> Baz is singing for Sarah and for for all our at Julia Flights viewers this morning and tuning in to watch the show. Uh, look, Reynolds, hello, happy Easter. A uh, blue universe, welcome to the show. <laughs> really calm conditions here at the moment. This and Noah is also watching. Woke up oh. early to watch the show. Just looking, where are we? Yeah, looking at that smoke there coming out of that whatever there is that over there so there's a little bit of a breeze around according to that but right where we are it's really and calm. rs saying got my five more minutes uh, tea this week love it <laughs> very nice. nice thank you rs for uh, placing your order on our julia flights official store so that breeze might pick up glad you soon. enjoy your uh, you love your five more minutes t-shirt <laughs> that's a really Really cool. And a big shout out to Pedro once again, Madeira Airport Spotting, a friend from Madeira, Portugal, fellow um, streamer as well. <laughs> yeah, we'd love, would love to get over there. Uh, absolutely. Hopefully, one day. Uh, Pedro celebrating with us. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't speak. I need a coffee. Uh, four months here as a member on Julia Flights. Saying amazing channel. Thank you, Pedro. Thanks, Pedro. Would love to come stream over there. Uh, thanks for being here. Michael saying happy Easter everyone I would give that United a 8.5 and the butter machine a 9.8 okay well, well the butter machine it's always you know that's that's why it's called a butter machine right Gavin yeah it's always does some buttery landings it's world famous for its butter landings <laughs> That's right. Uh, James Smith, hello James. Morning James, Good nice morning. to have you with us. Uh, James really liked um, the view of the Glasshouse Mountains. Yeah, it looked really nice out there this morning. Good morning. Let's go have another look at the sun sort of shining on there. Yeah, James, let's admire again the beautiful view of of the glass house mountains absolutely gorgeous uh, manchester airport aviation hello julia flights from manchester in the uk and arik from mac aviation has mentioned you on his channel thank you happy easter thank you so much I really enjoy Arik, um, Arik streams, a good friend here of the channel, uh, happy Easter, thank you for tuning in, welcome to Brisbane Airport. Yeah, I'm not much of an expert on these glasshouse mounts, but that one there, I think this one, that highest peak there, if you call it a peak, that's um, Mount Biwa, the one on the right there. It's about 1,800 meters, sorry, 1,800 feet high, so not very high. But popular with the rock climbers. The Eric ask, is asking, is uh, Veronica at work this morning? I, I don't uh, think that's Veronica, no. it must be a different lady. Yeah, lots of females up there in the tower, so easy to get it confused. Yeah, hopefully Veronica is still in bed. But she might be on later on uh, 
uh, Brian from San Francisco. Hello, happy Easter. Melinda 157, vaca uh, correction, roll through and vacate at uh, taxiway Alpha 9, <laughs> wind 180 degrees 5 knots, from a 1911. Lord Procrasti, <laughs> Pete Langshaw, member for six months here on Julie Flight. Six months? A red flag, no Pete, that's not a red flag, that's a red plane. Red flag? Enjoy, love to have your company as always. A great friend, Pete Langshaw. He's a math teacher. <laughs> he is a good math teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Still waiting for you to come join us up here, Pete. <laughs> uh, Pete, Gavin keeps teasing you. Oh, you never want to join us. Uh, Pete prefers um, to just uh, sit in his bedroom to watch the show, which is fair <laughs> come enough. Here. Fair enough. Come down here. Come to Julia Flight's Flight Deck Lounge. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Thanks for joining us here today. Uh, Paul Murphy, hello Paul from Ireland, a new subscriber here uh, to this channel. <laughs> Welcome Paul. Welcome. Uh, good to have you with us. So the next one on arrival looks like it's going to be Melindo. And Mike saying, uh, hi Julia, perfect camera control, nice HD pictures. Are we streaming in 4K today? I just I thought about that before and no, it's not. I, I forgot to change the settings. Sorry, I'm pretty bad. But it's still be it's still really <laughs> yeah, good it's quality gonna be picture. Nice. It's gonna be a nice picture still. Uh, Sarah Jane saying, my dog is trying to get Baza in the TV. I oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Baza, he was singing just like a second ago, and every time I point the camera around, he stops. Shy. I'm shy. He's watching Melinda come in. Baza's got the best spot. Anyway. The best view here, just overlooking both so runways, on. one nine left and one nine right. Can't get any better than this. Bazza needs it. We need Bazza cam. He can fly around the aerodrome with his camera. Um, our viewers ask you, what kind of bird is Bazza? <laughs> He's a butcher bird. He's a butcher bird. Oh, there he goes. Uh, Bazza is butcher bird, a native Australian bird. I think there's more of a correct name for it. But He's a butcher bird. He's, he's Melindo. Uh, coming in from Bali. And Baza singing. Only four years old, this Max. First 737 MAX 8 on the show today. Batik Air. Registered in Malaysia. We can't comment much on on the livery. Not much going on there. Yeah, it's it's a bit boring, isn't it? Like, what are the, what's going on there? Well, at least Scott. What is that airline? No one even knows. Orange, uh, orange socks. Orange socks. <laughs> uh, ben from Harlem saying good morning, Julian crew. Happy Easter. Good Hello, Ben. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. Early morning. It's good to be out here doing some plane spotting. 
the best time to be here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're here to capture the morning rush. Everyone else is missing out. <laughs> So it looks like we're going to have New Zealand cut in on front. There he is. A321 Neo coming from Christchurch. So guys, if you just tuned into the show, welcome, welcome. welcome. We're here to capture the morning rush here at Brisbane Airport, Australia. Good to have your company. And Eric Ask. Thank you so much for for your generous donation, Eric. Much, much appreciated. <laughs> uh, thanks for being here. We love having your company on the show. And as always, we really appreciate you and all your help. Uh, some money for coffee and Tim Tams. And Baza keeps singing. And thanks for giving us such a great show. As always, Julian and Gavin. Thank you, Eric Esk. Amazing Thanks. Thank, yeah, thank you, Eric. We just we just got started though, so anything could happen. <laughs> Don't praise us just yet. <laughs> thank you, Eric. We got you covered. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us here today. Hope hope you're doing well. That's Baz, I want to say. Baz is very happy today. Look at, look at Baza, he's so happy today. Tip Star 10 Heavy, Brisbane Town, good morning. Living the dream. The best spot here at uh, the airport. Overlooking both runways, one nine left, one nine right. Waiting for the next heavy arrival. Yeah, Jet Star 10 will be the next heavy arrival. Yeah, so. he knows, that's why he's getting so happy. <laughs> from Tokyo. So everyone, our next heavy arrival, just to 10, two minutes out. Uh, Matthew Barrow Moluluba. <laughs> Moluluba? Yeah, Matthew's asking, how do you pronounce yeah, this Moluluba? Can be a bit tricky for some people. Molululuba. No, it's Moluluba. <laughs> a beautiful it's interesting when you hear the Place Americans try to... Sunshine Coast, <laughs> Mululuba. <laughs> Here's Air New Zealand. Oh, nice. Uh, welcome, Air New Zealand. Flight 201, coming in from Christchurch. That's a Neo. Uh, Lance Coys and Julia, did you hear on ATC that one of the United pilots was a woman? I, I hope she comes over to see you. I thought it was, yeah. I'd yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard the woman uh, yeah, talking there. Um, we actually, guys, receiving really good feedback from from the United crew. They love watching our show. <laughs> Especially their landings. <laughs> of course, you got you got to go back and watch your landings, don't you? Uh, the best part of the flight. Uh, uh, Greg Dawson, hello Greg. Um, Stuart Cameron, welcome to the show. So you can see those, those white markings there in the runway. Just see it there, just behind the jet star aircraft. That's, that's the touchdown zone. So around about a thousand feet from there to the threshold. Uh, James Curtis saying good morning both of you and your family of Julia Flights members. Happy Easter everyone. Yeah, so typically if you... From Lancaster. The aeroplane will follow a three degree glide path down 
Hello, James. And if they're on that three degree glide path, they'll cross the threshold down here. 61, Brisbane Town, come on. At 50 feet. So you can just sort of see the piano keys there. If they follow that glide path down, you know, there's going to be a little bit of a flare and a float. Of course, that's only normal. Get a touchdown around there somewhere. So Jetstar Ted's covered in the A3. What am I calling an A3? And we've got seven, eight, seven. Miles Harrison in the house as well. Hello, Miles. Morning, Miles. Welcome to the show. Thank you for for your very generous donation. Thank you for supporting this channel. Lovely, lovely to have yeah, you with thanks, us. Thanks, Miles. Happy Easter, Miles. Well, here comes Jetstar. Morning, Julia, Gavin, Buzz, and Chat. Happy <laughs> Easter <laughs> to all. <laughs> Welcome to Brisbane Airport, Miles. Thank you for your company. Hope you doing well. Happy Easter, Miles, to you and your family. So you see, he's just crossing the threshold there. So about 50 feet over the end of the threshold, and then he'll touch down around those white zone, those white markings. There we go, right on it. So very good landing there. Jets to 10. 61, line up runway 1 on left and wait. This is Singapore. Singapore's in too. Singapore 235, heavy Brixton, ciao, good morning. Like great, thank you. And uh, ground one, two, two, days, one, two, five, eight, heading the runway. Jets to 10, direct flight from Tokyo Narita. Uh, Average flight seven. time given eight hours, 15 minutes. Oh, not bad, not too bad. I can handle that in economy. Yeah, watch a movie. Well, I've never had the pleasure to fly business class, so I don't <laughs> Once, Gavin, we, we got upgraded. Oh, that's right, yes. But that was very short flight, like a four-hour flight yeah. on Emirates. Yeah. Jetstar five sixty-one, runway one nine left, cleared for takeoff. Runway one nine left, cleared for takeoff. Jetstar five sixty-one. Uh, Carolyn saying hello from North Carolina. Hello, Carolyn. Welcome to the show. And Wilson, hello Wilson, thank you for a uh, dollar super chat, much, much appreciated, uh, thanks for being here. A huge thanks to the person who gifted me the membership. Oh, that is very, very kind, thank you Wilson. We have amazing supporters here of Julia Flights, our regular viewers here on the show. We, we cannot thank them enough for what all they've been doing for, to the channel. So thank you, Wilson. That is very nice of you. Sending you best wishes and uh, happy Easter. Thanks for joining us today. We got you covered. And we'll be doing nothing else, guys, but enjoy. Enjoy the show. Thanks for your, for your company. It's like Jetstar down here going to Auckland. Is it 147? I always forget this flight number. Let's have a look. Yes, 147 to Auckland. Uh, Super 80 Ooh, Swiss one, Adrian, hello, one, right. good morning. Good morning. Uh, Brisney 777. <laughs> Happy Easter, Tony. 147, runway 19 left, clear for takeoff. Runway 19 left, clear for takeoff. It's uh, 147. So New Zealand 147, only one year old, this Neo. All right, I forgot, I forgot to mention the horses too, Miles. Horses? Yeah. Hope everyone is doing well. Jetstar, new livery, uh, rolling now. Singapore 235, roll through and vacate at Alpha 9, wind 170 degrees. Five knots, runway 19 left, clear to land. 19 left, clear land, roll through, pick it up on 9, Singapore 235. 
bye bye Jetstar <whistles> Buzzer is just so happy today he's happy it's Easter maybe he's full of chocolate <laughs> oh no there he is dive bombed off saw something Back. more interesting I see Lloyd's there in the chat too. Good morning, Lloyd. So next we got uh, Singapore. Hello, Lloyd. Singapore 235 coming in. A five-year-old, A350. Thank you, Noah, and thank you, Ben the Cat, for uh, rating those landings this morning. So far, there's still more to come. Paul uh, Murphy saying I gave a like. Thank you for that. Have you set up a goal for your likes? Not yet, but thank you so much everyone for keeping us company. And yes, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new here, um, consider subscribing, right, to the channel. It's absolutely free to do. And we would don't, love... Don't consider, just do it. <laughs> Yeah, please subscribe. I would love to have your company on the next one. Uh, Singapore Princess A350 coming in from Changi Airport. Let's have a look at this landing. A350, show us what you got. Still keeping that nose up. There you go. For yeah, not too bad. I know, very, very nice. And Nathan J, hello, welcome to the show. Francisco Diaz, happy Easter Sunday from Puerto Rico. Oh, very nice. Feliz Semana Santa! <laughs> Happy Easter! Eric asks, I'm always keen to learn some Norwegian, however, the pronunciation must be so different to what, what I actually want. <laughs> so, Eric, I, I, need, I need you to, um, to teach us some Norwegian, maybe with some voice messages. Because I'm pretty sure, even if I read it out loud, Gavin, how to say um, Happy Easter in Norwegian, I know it will be wrong. Sounds fine to me. God. Pasca? No, that's, that's not right. Doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> yeah, Singapore. Good landing there by the looks of it in the chat. Oh, well done, Singapore. One of the best uh, airlines in the world, Singapore Airlines. Flying those A350s. Yeah, Welcome to Brisbane. Gateway bridge there in the background too, going across the Brisbane River. And a big boy sitting there, international uh, Singapore Airlines 
is joining the party. Uh, Muhammad Afridi, good morning to you. Happy Easter to you both. A super Sunday morning, absolutely, Muhammad. Brisbane rocks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, great to have you on the show. Must be a pretty awesome feeling just walking through the airport looking at that A380 if you're a pilot knowing you're about to jump on it take it to the skies uh, Generation Aviation um, Zurich Sporting Ooh, nice. from Switzerland uh, dropping five Swiss francs, thank you so much. Good on you. <laughs> thanks for thanks for being here. We love having your company on the show. Amazing support. Thanks for thanks for your donation. Very very kind. Oh, wow. I, I, Switzerland, Gavin. Yeah, thanks. That was really. We actually flew to Zurich. Yeah, flown Swiss a few times, haven't we? Flew we flew Swiss. Yeah, the last time Been we flew through Zurich, quite a lot on our last visit to Europe. <coughs> At the end of November, it was all covered with snow, beautiful mountains. So you see James Smith there saying, um, Smith at Singapore, yeah, celebrating 40 years at Brisbane this month, saying, was it a... Thanks for your company. A 737-300. Oh, sorry, seven, sorry, <laughs> I need my glasses. A 747-300, <laughs> I was going to say, a 737 coming that far, wow. Yeah, a 747-300, oh, how awesome is that? And we've got Mike um, in the chat as well. Oh, Mike, good morning, Mike, how good you doing? Good morning, Mike. Happy Easter. Perfect weather, uh, yeah, today is beautiful morning. Uh, H. Ellen, Mike. I'd love to have your company. Mike is saying checking in with a non-airline, no airport coffee. <laughs> Finally. Velocity <laughs> 308, runway 19 left, clear for takeoff. 19 left, clear for takeoff, velocity 308. Enjoy the markets, Mike. It will be fun. Can't wait to see you. But look, Mike has spent so much time flying or at the airports. I don't blame him. <laughs> it actually makes sense that he's not at the airport today. Well, that's right, yeah. <laughs> And a lot of people, especially cabin crew and pilots, I, th I don't think they want to get on the yeah. planes <laughs> on their holidays. So that is that is fair enough. New Zealand 143, wind 180 degrees, 7 knots, runway 19 left, clear to land. Uh, Sonia L, hello, good morning. Velocity 30, contact departure. Velocity 308, they're going to Melbourne. Some say Melbourne has the best coffee in the world. I don't know. Brisbane's got pretty decent coffee too. Uh, talking about coffee, I think uh, our coffee is on the way, right? Like still around an hour away. Oh. We have one of our uh, viewers joining us uh, here today. He 
He's, he's actually one of the uh, first class um, members here on Julia Flights. Uh, Kevin Nutt saying hi, good morning and good evening from Birmingham, UK. Have you given Buzzer an Easter egg? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> he actually, um, he's acting like he's on a lot of sugar today. Yeah, he's on a sugar high. <laughs> Uh, thanks indeed for, for the kind membership. This channel is fantastic. Take care, uh, Kev. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you so much. Uh, sending you best wishes all the way from um, Australia to, to UK. So we have for you, sorry, I'm getting everything mixed up. It's Air New Zealand. I was going to say United. <laughs> no, we were, we've been talking about Mike. And A321 United? <laughs> no. Air New Zealand. A lot of people don't realise that uh, United actually used to fly to Cairns. Uh, 563, runway 19 left, line up. With the 737-800s coming down from Guam. Used to sneak in at night time. Yeah, thank you so much, James. James Smith for sharing that. Singapore celebrating 40 years in Brisbane this month. Amazing. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome to Julia Flight. Great to have you on board. Uh, this is plane spotting from Brisbane down under. Welcome everybody. Thanks for being here today. One nine zero degrees seven knots. Runway one nine eleven. Please land. So Air Canada. Set up five six three Canada departures. Air Canada, the next one in. 789 coming in from Vancouver. And Generation Aviation saying um, uh, they work at uh, Zurich Tower. <laughs> I love my job and I love Zurich. That's a beautiful and love your channel. Thank you. Beautiful scenic area, airport that, Zurich isn't it, the mountains. Yeah, absolutely stunning, thank you so much for joining us here today. Good air Canada. And thanks for being here. Our Canadian friends are coming in. Air 
Canada flight 35. Let's rate this landing from 1 to 10. Dreamliner. Can't get much better than that. Yeah, we getting a lot of awesome landings on the show. There's not much to comment on this one. Oh, good morning, Mike. India Foxtrot. Nicely Mike. done. India Foxtrot has been. Uh, uh, track towards the uh, control tower, and I'll have further for you once you get a bit closer. Uh, track towards the control tower, come in, Mike. And Canada 35, Ooh, there's Canada, a Canada, caravan. Canada, ground on 122S125. Mike, yes, one, like India Fox Road is on the flight radar. Is that a caravan? Oh, big honk. Oh, yeah, caravan. Cessna Caravan with wings about to overfly us at, uh, what is he? He's pretty low, about 800 feet. Somewhere out here. Let's keep an eye on it. Look at these beautiful clouds up high up. I know you're not much of a cloud person, Julia, but... I know Veronica is. you got to appreciate those. Oh, yeah, absolutely. High-level cirrus clouds. And Mark, hello Mark. Uh, enjoying another month as a member here on Julia Flights. Uh, saying good morning, guys. Hello Mark, love to have your company. Thanks Mark. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Mark. Hope you're enjoying the show. A wonderful, wonderful support, thank you. Foxtrot uh, from the tower track, uh, uh, correction, Hornybrook Island. From the tower track, Hornybrook Island, I'm going to get the Caravan's right in the sun. The sun is very bright. Yeah, it's popping out now. It'll buzz over us, the top of us very soon. And Michael G. Kelly saying uh, Happy Easter to Gavin and Julian, everyone. Hello, Michael. Oh, there he is, right here. <laughs> Can't see it still. Oh, I can hear it go over. And we've got uh, some updates from uh, Christopher Cotton. I just um, uh, popped on the screen. Different uh, time zones. A time check for Julia flights from the uh, Plain Spotters Weather Center. Thank you so much, Chris, for that. So let's have a look, guys. Uh, Brisbane, Australia, uh, 7 a.m. Sydney, Australia, uh, 8 a.m. And then we've got 2 p.m. in LAX, uh, 5 p.m. in uh, Boston, and 9 p.m. in 
GMT. Yeah, over there in Greenwich, meantime, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you, Chris. We've got uh, viewers from all over the world, different, watching us from different time zones. Jetstar now on the roll. Jetstar 811 heading down to Sydney. Uh, 3:21 near. And quickly, given going back to that Air Canada landing, uh, looking at uh, scores from our viewers. A lot of tens. A lot of tens for that one, Gavin. Well deserved. I think, um, I'm not sure who did it better. Was it Canada or was it United? I think Michael Kelly was the harsh one there. I gave them an eight. But the rest of the scores are really, really high. Very nice. Great landing, Air Canada. Gary Suha, welcome to the show. Morning, Gary. Yeah, you can see they're moving the A380 already just to free up some gate space. Take it around behind the international terminal, so we're going from the left of screen to the right. Uh, Julian's asking Julia, Port Moresby sending an Omni uh, 767 today. Departure expected at 10.30 a.m. from Port Mosby. Yeah, so that's the typical Sunday in yeah, New Guinea. Uh, Gary Sue has saying I seem to always uh uh, join the show when the um, when there's Air Canada movement. It's perfect timing. It must be, you know, six cents. Six cents, exactly. It's meant to be. <laughs> Look at the size of that big beast. Can't escape from Air Canada. Uh, Paul Andrews, hello, welcome to the show. Morning, Paul. Uh, Paul Murphy saying Julian given my birthday was last Sunday. Happy birthday, Paul. Hope you had a great day. Was radio? Hello, was. Morning, was. <laughs> Good morning. Brisbane ground, Crescent Tower, runway one nine left, tip takeoff. If you guys after some good music, and really nice radio host, go and check out Highlight uh, Highland FM. It's online radio. And was host a really good show on that on that radio, so yeah, definitely it check it out. Let's have a look at this one, Gavin. That's a special livery yeah. too, Emirates uh, A380.
Uh, thanks for the update, Rigoberto. Over 300 likes so far. Thanks, guys. Thank you for hitting that like button. It's a beautiful, beautiful day out here. Just to climb, can I have patches? Patches, just to climb, stay at 20 degrees. I hope you got the sunscreen on. That sun's out now. You're going to get burnt. Uh, Unfortunately, I forgot my sunscreen. <laughs> but I've got my hat on, so that should be fine. Oh, Paul Andrew saying. Our clocks in the UK go forward tonight, an hour less in bed. Uh, Craig Murray, welcome to the show. Morning, Craig. Wavy Davy saying good morning to you from the past. Wavy Davy? Is Davy Wavy? <laughs> what is that? Where, is, where is he watching from? Yeah, let us know. And uh, Jamie S is also in the house Jamie, saying uh, morning, good morning, guys, watching at home today. Uh, Jamie is such an active guy, always out and about. Where is he? He's probably ridden down the Gold Coast. No, he said he rode uh, 60 kilometers oh. of the rail trail uh, oh, wow. yesterday before getting a flat tire. Wow. What an adventurous day, Jamie. <laughs> Happy Easter to you and your family. I'll probably ride about a kilometre and I need rescuing. And we've got a port of Brisbane in the background. With those cranes that look like Giraffes. The giraffes. <laughs> Wavy Davy is watching us from the UK. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hopefully not too cold over there. Yeah, hello from Brisbane down under. And once again, welcome everybody. Thank you, thank you guys for being here today. I see someone talking about Cheetos in the chat. I love hot, hot Cheetos, the flaming. Oh, so addictive. And those hot Cheetos, probably the um, the people up there in North America will know what I'm talking about. To buy a bag here of those hot Cheetos in Brisbane, it costs $9. Just right, 13, runway 19 left, line up. 19 left, just right, 13. That's, that's the big bag, not the you know, small one, but still, $9. Uh, Joshua Leclerc, good morning to you. Morning, Joshua. Josh. Uh, Lance is asking, who stole all the focus? Well... Lance. There's two seventies right there. Just right thirteen, runway one. Two sirs. <laughs> two sirs. Excuse me, sir, have you seen a fucker? Well, there's two seventy, there's another another one there. Ooh, well, there's one sneaky one hiding there, you can just see the tail, the T tail. Hiding there. Another one over here. Maybe some more over in the little fucker nest. 
I don't think we've heard a hooroo yet. No, no hooroo yet. We're waiting on a hooroo. And I know you were teasing Veronica the other day. You really want her to give those pilots a good hooroo. Hooroo. And Veronica is like, I'm not a hooroo person. I'm more like a seer <laughs> person. <laughs> but yes, yeah, she said she would do that uh, next time. When she's, when she's at work at Brisbane Tower and w when we um, live, she said she would do it. Just for us. Let's have a look at the 1 9 a right departure, the E jet. 1 9 runway 1 9 left, 5 take off. 1 9 left, 5 take off, put it to 5 0 9. Quantus Link. What are you laughing at? I uh, just um, saw a funny message. <laughs> Read it out. <laughs> Tell everybody. <laughs> Is it readable? Oh, no, it's it's nothing. Um, uh, just about. Um, just from a friend uh, who I also streamers. Oh, so not in the chat. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing too crazy. E190 off to Alice Springs. Alice Gavin. Springs, yeah. Alice Springs, Alice right Springs, there. Yeah. Not a very popular place at the moment. I won't go into any politics there, but yeah, if you're interested, have a look at Alice Springs there. Not a, yeah. No more. <laughs> Aussie Outback. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. If you're brave enough to go there. So what have we got here? Is the red a soil. Max? Here's a maxi. Another where maxi, is, where's everyone. This come from? And that's uh, Virgin Australia call sign velocity coming in from Sydney, <laughs> flight 909. I wonder what Denny's on. I wonder if he's on a max. 314, wasn't it? Whoa. And our next domestic arrival will be Rexy. Rex 314. Also coming in from Sydney. And uh, Gavin, we cannot forget a uh, Danny, our uh, Virgin pilot, will give us a wave. He's on, he's operating Virgin Australia Flight 314. That's scheduled at 7.55. What's that mess, uh, Darren, what is the round room with all the windows on top of the building? Which one's that? What am I looking at? Oh, this one down here, I think. This one down here, Darren? 314 Brisbane, As far as I know, I don't know what's on top of that. I'm, I'm guessing it might be some sort of uh, movement, sort of office for Qantas, looking after gate assignments and that sort of thing. Oh. What happened there? Yeah, I think, and that's, it's sort of nicknamed the satellite. It's a bit hard to tell here. It's like a round part of the uh, Qantas terminal. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a, yeah, just, it's shaped like a satellite <laughs> with the aerobridges coming off it. So, 
And what are you? Guess who's oh. here? Guess who is here? Happy Easter, everyone! Oh, like a villain's hideout. Yeah, you can at night time. You can actually see in there. I've never wanted to zoom right in there because you can actually see inside <laughs> people in there. So the daytime is reflective there. But night time, you can actually see in there. Uh, good morning, Julian Gavin from John and Annette. Welcome, guys. Thank you um, for good morning. tuning in. Perfect weather out here this morning. You should be here. I can hear Baza still singing. <laughs> uh, almost 7 <laughs> seven thirty in the morning. There's some rain showers gonna come out too. Look at that. Easter. Break three fourteen. Sunday. Uh, information November is now current. Q and H is November already. One point two zero zero degrees <laughs> nine knots from where one nine left. Uh, last day of March. <laughs> uh, oh Melly's in the house. Hello, oh Melly. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Lloyd, I'm pretty sure they'd do some sort of like um, gate assignments in that area, that top of the terminal there, so they got a nice view of everything there. The ground movements, anyway, something like that. That'd be a nice spot to stream from, actually. If only there was a roof there. Give us a balcony, Qantas. Put a balcony there. That'd be perfect. And we've got Rex coming in now. Whoops. Our next domestic arrival. What you've got for us, Gavin? <laughs> Who's that? I think that's you. No. That's you hiding there. You are Easter Bunny. All oh, right, I think we got your... Uh, uh, Pedro, Pedro uh, saying good morning, family. Buenos dias, familia. Two coffees. Buenos dias. For Julia and Gavin. Yes, Absolutely. I feel like a coffee. Yes, we want we want a coffee. <laughs> hopefully soon. Hopefully very soon. A coffee with a, a drop of something else in it. No, we'll we'll save that for later. Uh, Craig Murray saying, I saw on TV that Baza got himself a new electric car. <laughs> all right, what? that explains it all. That's why he's so happy now. What is? What's Baza doing? He can drive a car as well. <laughs> What a talented bird. Jeez, we've got some talented animals on the show. We've got Ben the cat. He's out here frequently watching. We've got Baza now driving our car. And uh, Sarah Jane's uh, <laughs> dog trying to attack Baza. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I think we have your party bus here. Might be a few Bazas on here going up to Bali. Hear those cans of VB cracking open. They serve VB. I don't, they probably don't serve VB in, anymore. Uh, Rexy is landing. Oh. Sorry, I was just thinking about Bali. Coming in from Sydney. Uh, Pat Murphy saying good day from the UK. British summer time starts tomorrow. That's right, guys. 
Yeah, Pat, that's all of Europe too, is it, or is it just... Yeah, yeah, for all of Europe. So one hour closer to us then, is that how it works? Yes. And, um, an hour less for you guys in bed. <laughs> I hear Baz like singing somewhere way across yeah, the can. car park. He's definitely had a few Easter eggs this morning. He's going to crash in about two hours. Yeah, Rex, who, sorry, who is that? William Weiss, is it? Is that Weiss? Is that, is that Weiss? Um, yeah, Rex got these 737s. And they also got Saab 340s. And they, they are actually are the largest operator of the Saab 340 in the world. And... I think they got about 10 of these 737s. I have, I'm not up to date with all the new aircraft arrivals, but something around that, 9 or 10 aircraft they have now. The jet aircraft, anyway. I've never flown with them, but I'd actually we love always... To, sorry, I'd love to see a Max with Rex. That'd be nice. Yeah, but we always um, hear very good things yeah, about... Yeah, doing good. Uh, Rex. Very, very positive feedback. And as we uh, mentioned last week too, I'm the um, the designer of the Rex on board meal experience, aren't I? The beef pie. And it's pretty good price-wise <laughs> as well. <laughs> the beef pie and Vegemite sandwiches. Probably won't last very long. And uh, Nathan, we're hello, Nathan. Morning, uh, Nathan. Say, hey, Julia, thank you so much for your reply about my art piece for you. Thanks for for the stream. Thank you, Nathan. That was very, very kind of you. Thanks for that print dedication. Oh yes, the Qatar triple seven. Yeah. Triple seven. Yeah. I shared it on on my Insta story. Brisbane Target Air, Quantas 1871. Quantas 1871, Brisbane Target Air. Uh, Rita, hello, uh, welcome to the show. Zero degrees seven knots, runway one nine right, clear to land. Runway one nine right. Thanks for joining us here today. Yeah, oh yeah, even James uh, James uh, Smith saying we flew with Rex for the first time back in uh, January and they were excellent. Yeah, everyone says good That's things. That's what, yeah, everyone says. Nice landing there with the 3 Yeah, Darren, Bonza doesn't um, service Brisbane, unfortunately. And welcome Qantas Flight 120. Arrives from Auckland, New Zealand. Really cheap flight, so ones I have from Sunshine Coast and Gold Coast airports. I'd love to see a Bonza triple seven <laughs> Brisbane Los Angeles. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's Jive, that's my new job. I'm the head of catering for Rex. Proud of it. <laughs> I find you wish. Uh, contact ground on 122, that's my two part. I'll probably be kicked out after one flight. Look, it. it w <laughs> what if, uh, you know, if it was a massive success, Gavin? And more airlines would be reaching out to you. Mm. Maybe I could start my own airline. A Gavin Flights? <laughs> Bazza. <laughs> Bazza and Bonza, nah. Nice. Wouldn't work, would it? <laughs> uh, ladies and gents, that's uh, Qantas Flight 120. Has just arrived from Auckland into Brisbane. Yeah, some interesting clouds sort of developing out here. Qantas 1871, wind 180 degrees, 9 knots, runway 19 on right, clear to land. And Nat King, thank you so much, Nat, for this incredibly, incredibly generous donation, Nat. Much, much appreciated. We love to have your company here on the show. Great to have Nat in the house. Thank you. Uh, Nat is in Victoria, in Melbourne, looking after us. Thank you so much, Nat. Yeah, thanks, Nat. Can't thank you enough. Um, thank you for Always supporting awesome this channel. Support. And thank you so much for being here, Nat. We love having your company here on the show. Uh, good morning, uh, Julia Gavin Morton viewers. Happy Easter Sunday. And thank you for another fabulous stream. What a blast. <laughs> thank you. Uh, good on you. Um, we love having your company on the show. Uh, Nat, thank you. Happy Easter to you and your family. And we can't wait to see you very, very soon, hopefully, here in Queensland. Yeah, that'd be nice. Back in the best state in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> so Jetstar there, uh, the brand new aircraft, A321 for Jetstar. Uh, Lynette Morris, hello Lynn. Happy Easter, Julian Gavin. T-shirts, uh, t-shirts arrived and very happy. Oh. Thank you. Uh, uh, Lynette is a, a viewer from New Zealand. And also got her t-shirts from, from the official Julia Flights store. Uh, Lynette was one of the t-shirts, a Baza t-shirt. <laughs> uh, it's definitely one of our uh, most popular ones. Uh, Qantas Link, everyone uh, touching down. just arrived from Townsville. Chester 057, runway 19 arrived, cleared for takeoff. Uh, Cast Media say you need better services to LAX. Yes, I business. agree. And that's that's Bonza. Come on, Bonza, step on that. Bonza to LAX? <laughs> Who's me? The wascally rabbit. <laughs> yeah, Bonza. Here's your chance. Get on board. 
Thank you everyone for plane spotting with us on uh, Easter Sunday here from uh, Brisbane, Australia. Thank you for joining us here today. And thanks for hanging out today with Julian Gavin. A jet star up in the air. It was a nice takeoff. Yeah, imagine that a nice bonds of seven. Off to Bali, Denpasar, Jet Star, a flight 57, full of holiday makers on on that flight. Jet Star 057, contact departures. Good morning. Uh -oh, where's Christopher Cotton? Are we in for any showers? It's going to rain, Chris. Should we be worried? And Ned uh, dropping <laughs> 10 uh, Julia Flights memberships. Wow. Incredible support. Thank you <laughs> Thanks, so much, Dad. Nat. Thank you. Sending you uh, best wishes from us to you and your family. Congratulations to the uh, 10 newest members here on Julia Flights. Welcome, welcome guys. If you're in the chat, please say thanks to Ned for his uh, gift. And enjoy all the perks. Make sure you use those emojis in the chat. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for being here today. So, our um, Velocity 314 shouldn't be too far away. Was it 755? Okay, it's on radar now. Um, probably pushing back. He's down there at the satellite end. Got to keep an eye on that. Pretty sure it's that tail is sneaking out there. Got to keep an eye out the captain of that one. Oh, yeah, remember, Gavin, yeah, can't we've got one. Um, Captain Danny uh, operating Virgin Australia flight uh, 314 this morning uh, to uh, Melbourne, a friend of the channel. We get to rate his takeoff. And uh, the captain said he will give us a wave. I will rate his takeoff. Sounds good. <laughs> Four three thirteen eighty five. Winds one nine zero degrees seven knots. Runway one nine left. Lead land. Runway one nine left. Lead land. Lead land. Lead land. Lead land. Lead land. Uh, Kelly Owen. Hello, Kelly. Oh, man, Happy Kelly. Easter. Let's go have a look at the Fockers. You're over there today. I love to have your company. Rather quiet start to the day, isn't it? And Aussie Pete is in the house. Hello, Aussie Pete. Aussie Pete, good morning. But we got so many early arrivals, especially that Emirates A3. Yeah, all the internationals were around about half an hour early this morning. They were in a hurry. I'm just looking at that. There's not much wind here at the moment, but I'm always looking at this uh, little smoke. There it is over there. It's sort of changing direction a little bit. And we've got next domestic arrival on one one nine left virgin australia flight three one three eighty five coming in from adelaide Oh, 
I think I saw someone in there asking when the next stream will be. Um, should be next weekend, shouldn't it? Yeah. Never know. We might pop up somewhere in the week. But most of the time, nine times out of ten, you can find us here in the weekend. Yeah, we're always here to uh, capture Morning Rush on... Um, we have our Saturday, Sunday shows. And can't wait to uh, deliver another night stream very soon. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, nice soft landing. Hello. I think I hear a Fokker starting up, or is that no, it's a Jetstar. <laughs> How could I mistake the two? You're obsessed with Fokkers, Gavin. Jetstar down here, just pushing back. Yeah, we haven't seen a Fokker movement today. Okay, Lloyd Fox saying last Korean uh, 787 today for uh, a while. Yes. As tomorrow the uh, butter machine will commence at uh, 8.30. Okay, uh, just got a message from Captain Danny pushing shortly. Yeah, he's, I Thanks think he's for, down there on for the heads up. Bay 48, I'm guessing. Gate 48, I think that's down there. Okay. We'll be zooming right in to get away from the captain. And Jamie S, five months as a member here on Julia Flights, uh, PR oh, manager. Jamie. Jamie uh, just hit five months as a member. Very nice. Congrats. Thank you so much for uh, being, being a part of our amazing community here on Julia Flights. Yeah, thanks, Jamie. Jamie. The jet fuel's making me hungry. That's it. So, so true. <laughs> Looking forward to the next time you, you, you can make it out here. Uh, love to have your company, uh, Jamie. Thank you for watching the show. Uh, Raina, hello, watching from Texas. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to Brisbane Airport. Morning, Raina. We got you covered. Thanks for joining us here today. How's Texas this time of the year? It must be getting warm now. Well, America's been hit by a bit of a cold snap, haven't they, in some areas, so... Plus 80, 99, Brisbane, Tag, morning. Winds 200 degrees, 9 and 9, runway 19 left, clear to land. Runway 19 left, clear to land, Plus 80, 99. A turtle dove saying good morning, new uh, sub here from north of Perth. Welcome. Oh, welcome to Brisbane. Hello from us. Welcome to Julia Flights. <coughs> and Mark just uh, gifted one Julia Flights membership that goes straight to Ross. Thank you so much, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for being here. Aileron check, maybe we get an elevator check now. Has he done it already? Hey. Amazing oh. support, Mark. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Pedro's asking what's the name of the uh, third member, third co-host of the show, the bunny. <laughs> I haven't got a name for him. 
Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen him. He's seen a special guest. Just I haven't caught it yet. Here on uh, Easter Sunday, another regular visitor. Here rabbits. At Brisbane Airport. Rabbits are illegal in this part of the world, so <laughs> they're very sneaky. Okay, uh, Danny's pushing back now, uh, gate 47. Oh, oh, 47, okay, there. So the one next door, so Yankee Fox. Okay, Ooh. we'll get. There he is. We'll get uh, away from uh, Captain Danny, that Virgin Australia flight 314. Uh, we'll be uh, heading down to Melbourne this morning. And we can rate, th rate this takeoff. And we had uh, Danny as, as a co-host of the show a few weeks back. <coughs> Good morning. Wind 180 degrees 9 and knots from my 19 right. Quick. Such experienced. Yeah, uh, very, very experienced pilot. Pilot, yeah. yeah. Very skilled pilot. On the 777 and also the A330 Virgin. Yeah, just uh, about 65 Brisbane Town. Uh, Waters is in the house. Hello, Waters. Waters, good morning. Oh, yeah, Raina's saying Texas is getting warmer now. Oh, it is? Okay, nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'd love to have some of that Texas barbecue. Yeah, good day, Connor, be careful. And Mark Besta, um, welcome to Cloud Lounge. Thank you for becoming a member here on the channel. Uh, thanks for being here. Welcome to our uh, Julia Flight uh, community. Wonderful community full of great people, amazing uh, plane spotters and aviation enthusiasts from all other parts of the world. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Yeah, it's so good to have everyone with us. Yeah, thanks for being here. <coughs> If you are new, yeah, welcome. Please jump in the chat. Obviously, yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to, yeah, but don't be afraid if you want to chat away there. If you've got any questions, someone, if we can't answer, there'll be someone there, I'm sure. Yeah, we, we have a lot of knowledgeable people in the chat, so. Yeah, never be afraid to chat if you want to join in the chat. Absolutely. Right, we'll, see, we'll see him come around shortly. Uh, welcome, Mark, enjoy. A cloud lounge based here at Brisbane Airport, Australia. Just up by 65, runway 19 left, line up. We're here to have a good time, aren't we? So don't be afraid. Exactly, it's all about having fun and enjoy all the things aviation. Qantas Link E190. You can bribe us with Tim Tams, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Are we being silly? <laughs> I've got to keep it on this rain. I think that's. And Mr. Watsi is celebrating his five months as a member here on the channel, a first class member. Very nice, uh, Watsi. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that I absolutely love this stream and all your hard work. Thanks, Julian Gavin. No worries, Craig. Great to have you with us, Craig. You make it a better stream having it, having you with us, so thank you. Absolutely. Well, this is a jet start taking off. Well, this Sending you all the best wishes, Craig, to you and your family. Happy Easter. Thank you for keeping us company today. It's a little bit far away there, but we'll see if we can see Danny down here. That's very kind. You probably need to keep an eye on the big screens. Yes, guys. Uh, uh, Gavin, zoom in as much as you can. We've got our Captain Danny on the show, uh, on the show operating Virgin Australia Flight 314. Can't wait to get that wave. And there you go, a honk. <laughs> <laughs> for Danny. Just 
Are you guys watching on a big TV screens? Let us know. A friend of the channel, Captain Danny, is on this flight. Yeah, I'm not sure if I saw anything there, but somebody uh, with a bigger screen. Uh, yeah, uh, talking about big screens, yeah. Sidney Mai saying, um, hiding out from the rain indoors with you on my 70 inch Whoa. TV. Sidney Myers. I think you win that one. Uh, let us know if you. If you saw a wave from Captain uh, <laughs> Danny on that Virgin Australia flight. All right, we're going to rate Velocity 314's takeoff. <laughs> uh, Gary saying it looked like there was a wave. Yeah. Okay, you guys said I, I think I saw it amazing. Yeah, uh, Danny promised he, he would give us a wave on the show. Well, I'm going to look back later. 314, runway 19 left, clear for takeoff. Runway 19 left, clear for takeoff, that's the uh, 314. So that must be the uh, the FO there on the radio, so Denny must be at the controls. He'll give us a hooroo. <laughs> Velocity 314, contact departures. Velocity 314, see ya. Oh, just to see ya. There we go. <laughs> Have a good flight, Captain Denny, first officer, and all the passengers on Virgin Australia flight 314 heading down to Melbourne. And uh, Ross Jin uh, dropping five uh, dollar super chat, saying thank you to Mark for gifted membership. That's uh, very uh, kind of you, Ross. Uh, yeah, thank you both. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Ross. Uh, lovely to have you have you here. Thanks for joining us today. Absolutely um, a pleasure to have your company here on the show. Uh, thank you. Hope you're enjoying. And welcome to Brisbane Airport. Target Air Rest 227, ready? Rest 227, Brisbane Town, number one. Thanks for being here. Uh, Astrid is also uh, in the chat. Hello, Astrid. Morning, Astrid. That's a nice takeoff. Nicely done. Rest 27, runway 1 on the left, please take off. Well, take off rest uh, Paul is asking, can I give, uh, give him a name, Benny the Bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Benny the Bunny, that sounds good. Sounds good to me? That sounds good. 
You never know where Benny the Bunny might pop up next. Uh, Astra saying good morning, Julian Gavin, from me and Sebastian. Welcome, guys. Thank you for joining us here today. Love having your company. Uh, Jean Paul is asking rain on the horizon. Uh, it's looking that way. It, it, it really yeah, is. it's. Um, The clouds are getting darker. It's in the forecast. Last time I checked, it's in the forecast for this afternoon. And a big shout out to Think Plains, our wonderful, amazing friends from Manchester. Uh, Simon and Lee, seven months, Kevin, as members here on Julie Flights. Well, thanks, guys. Amazing. Thank you, guys. Another place we'd love to stream from, isn't it? <laughs> love your channel. Love to have your company as well. Amazing support. Thanks for another awesome stream, Julian Gavin. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Simon guys. and Liz. Over there in Manchester. We we love you guys. We love your channel. And we love all the support you guys have been giving us. Thank you. That stream you guys did in Innsbruck. Oh, I'm totally jealous. <laughs> I, I am I'm really jealous. Because Gavin's been oh, thinking <laughs> about Innsbruck for a long, long time, and when you guys <laughs> popped out with that. I just love that place. I know it's not the busiest airport in the world, but that scenery is just amazing. Innsbruck streamed, I was like, wow. <laughs> Lloyd saying, Julia, did you know that we got a Spanish airline in here last Wednesday? Oh, vam vam uh, vamos. 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 Or vamos um, yes flying for uh, Callan and Callan uh, that was a uh, butter machine a 330 200 oh wow love it amazing imagine seeing a Spanish airline wow yeah, they were they were actually flying for Air New Zealand for a little bit too I don't know if they're still doing that um, from Auckland to Perth uh, Aussie the Mozzie good morning saying uh, hello to Julia Gavin and Baza happy good Easter morning, Aussie, the Mozzie. hello there Uh, Mitesh saying I'm off to bed, Julia. Uh, see you on the next stream. Uh, thank you, Mitesh. Uh, stay safe. We'll definitely I'll see you then. Uh, catch you on the next one. Okay, uh, yep. Yeah. So we need to rewatch that. I think we got a wave. Yeah, we, we went to Innsbruck, didn't we? We've been there once before, a little while ago. It's just, that's like one of the airports I've always wanted to visit, up there with St. Martin's. That scenery there is just incredible. Now, it's not just about the airport or aeroplanes, it's all about the scenery and everything around it. There's another control surfaces check there, you can see the ailerons go. I don't want to miss the elevators. Uh, CF Cordoba saying um, off to bed. Happy Easter and uh, thanks for a nice stream. Our pleasure. Let's see it. <laughs> there goes the slats. You can see the slats there coming out. Let me check that weather radar actually. Uh, did you know that Captain Danny is one of the most senior pilots at Virgin? Oh. Oh. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, guys. People ask that all the time, seriously. 
We got our first Fokker movement. There you go. So we've just got a couple of guests come to us. Yeah, we've got, uh, we have some guests here, uh, guests behind the scenes. So the Wanted to say hello. Rain moving in over there on the port of Brizzy, so. Uh, we've got our morning coffees. Here's our first Fokker, everybody. Uh, courtesy of our, our first, one of our first class members here during the flight. <laughs> He's looking after I us. I will, yes, I will. Um, Ask him to to jump on on the mic soon. <laughs> he's got a he's got a friend up here with him too. So in um yeah, who's a future uh, Qantas pilot, right? Yeah, he's graduated out of the um, yeah Qantas cadet ship out there. At World Amazing. Camp. So I know there's a lot of lots of people out there that are interested and have many questions about that Qantas cadet ship program. So yeah, morning, Blossom Nine. Uh, time to ask. Nine twenty four, Brisbane Town, you ready, immediate? Okay. T924, exit line up, runway 19 on left. Exit line up, runway 19 on left. Velocity 924. Plan Pete66 saying good morning, uh, Julia. I changed my name here to avoid some confusion. Alrighty, no worries. I know who you are. <laughs> Pete, welcome to the show. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're well. Um, what are the size of these coffees? Local viewer. Are they like super sized coffees? <laughs> American sized. <laughs> American large. <That's> right. <laughs> so, velocity off to Sydney. Hello, welcome to the show. Morning, cool waters. And Alon uh, back is saying time to uh, pass on a check-in uh, with you next week. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your long Easter weekend. Yes, yeah, back, back to that message from Captain Danny. Was he some of the most senior pilots there? Yes, at one of the nice. um, most senior pilots at uh, Virgin. It's so good having that sort of connections here. Like Absolutely. Avia all these year. And, uh, and Captain Danny was uh, on the show a few weeks yeah. ago. It was lovely to have him. And um, he shared with us so many wonderful stories. Yeah, I think it's a bit unexpected for him to join the show. So maybe next time he might, if he pops up here, he might be a little bit more prepared and have some more time for us. It's so good, you know, we got our yeah, ATC friends. Okay, uh, uh, plane Pete uh, 66 saying, shouldn't be too bad. Um, only up to one millimeter rain forecast. 
Oh, nice. All right, so Very light it should shower. be fine. Yeah, light shower. The breeze is starting to pick up, so that's the concern. At least, Blowing across. you know, we we undercover should should be fine. Got your maxi there from Batik coming on out, going back to Bali, and Kuala Lumpur. Someone was looking for a Saab 340, I think it was you guys over there, Lance Cole and Tristar Darren, we got one coming into view. Quantus rolling now. I was, just, I was just thinking, uh, thinking about Captain Ben. Um, I'm pretty sure he's up there in the Philippines at the moment. So there's our Saab 340. Yeah. Uh, land. Hello Astrid, one of our uh, amazing, amazing supporters and friends here on the channel. Astrid, uh, thank you so much for being here together with Sebastian watching the show, uh, sending my last five dollars from my spending account <laughs> to a good cause. Uh, half a coffee each. <laughs> Adore you guys. I hope today is lovely. Thank you so much, Astrid. Much, much appreciated. This is very, very kind. We love to have your company as always. Uh, please uh, stay with us. We got you covered. I and see we'll what you did there. Yeah, the, the spendings account, not the <laughs> savings account. <laughs> uh, thank you, Astrid. Um, sending you guys best wishes. Happy Easter. Thank you for watching the show. Thanks, Astrid. <laughs> Uh, it's still lovely to see you think planes in the chat. Thank you guys for watching the show. <laughs> so Melindo down there is just lining up. Uh, Tony uh, saying I'm off to bed have a great Easter everyone lots of Easter eggs <laughs> <laughs> by the way talk about Easter eggs they all sold out from my a local uh, 
a supermarket. I couldn't get any more Easter eggs last night. Everything seems to sell out these days, doesn't <laughs> it? Uh, see you all on the next stream and thank you again, Nat King, for, for the gift. Thank you, Tony. Uh, see you next time. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. A long Easter weekend. We've got some uh, visitors today. Hopefully, they can uh, jump on the mic soon. They can co host the show here on Julia Flights. There's Melinda back to Kuala Lumpur via Bali. Uh, AB Videos, hello, welcome to the show. Melinda 158, contact the bus. Uh, Spike. Oh, Sorry, Jetstar heavy. And Spike is saying, uh, hot, hot dogs and watching Julia flights. Perfect night. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Good combo. Love it. We got here Jetstar seven eight seven. Absolutely being spoiled today with my extra large Starbucks coffee. <laughs> Raindrops. Yeah, you can feel that now. Yep. Thank you, everyone, for keeping us company. Give us a thumbs up if you if you enjoying the show. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free to do. Uh, we would love to have your company on our upcoming streams. Jetstar 54, back heading ground 122-125, good morning. 122-125, Jetstar 54, good morning. Jetstar 54, good morning. Gary Sue has saying uh, whether a radar must be wrong. It doesn't look like light rain. <laughs> I know it, these clouds look very nasty. <laughs> Such a beautiful start to the morning too, and then that, this happens. And we've got super super donation from from our number one member here on Julia Flights, Miss Sarah Jane. Thank wow, you so much, is, Sarah. Yeah, that is a super, super donation. Wow. Thanks, Sarah. Incredible, incredible support to the channel. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thanks for being here. We absolutely love your company here Thanks, on the show. Sarah, yeah. Happy Easter, Sarah. Thank you. Yeah, we, we love having Sarah watch us. Yeah, she's been here with us from day one, hasn't she? So. Yeah, since day one. Yeah. Very, very special. Thank you. Hope you're doing well, Sarah. Thanks for, for joining us today. Very, very kind of you. And Sarah's got her own emoji here on Julia Flight, so... Let's show Sarah some love. I just noticed while well, I was looking at that Quantas aircraft, that Jet Star A320 down here, they're doing a bit of maintenance down there. they got the flap beside the air. Looks like maybe some flaps extended down there. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about the rain. Is this one Mike? Is it? Yes. Damn.
we, we've got uh, Qantas 737 rolling now. Flight 513 off to Sydney. Another Sydney flight. Flight 513, contact departures. Contact departures. And we've got the very first uh, super chat from Gary. Uh, I had a little win on the lotto, so here, <laughs> here's a fiver <laughs> for the other half of the coffees. Thank you, Gary. Much, much appreciated. You gotta show us your coffee. <laughs> okay. Show let's us the, si the size of this thing. Oh, Bo's at the back there too. All right. Check out that. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> He's got his flight mode. That's my favourite. I like that one. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Much, much appreciated. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. And talking about um, a coffee and our special guest, let's... Who we got on the mic with us? Who's here? Yeah. Uh, it's Nick. Nick. How you going, Nick? Good. How are you? Good, man. That's What's good. happening? Oh, I just came out to... Um, have a look at the aeroplanes today. Got the day off from work, so nice. We got no better way to spend the day off, I reckon. Exactly right. And, and this morning was so nice out here. It was absolutely perfect weather. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> now it's got a bit. Yeah, now it's got a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's still good. And Bo's here also too. Hello everybody. How are we? See that Bo. Bo's a first class member here, aren't you Bo? So thanks. Am, yes. Yeah, really appreciate that, Bo. Hello to everyone. All the mods. Thank you very much for all the work you do. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Baz is taking shelter. <laughs> and Nick, you got a bit of an interesting story, don't you? You got your ATP or your CPL and your ATPL. I do. You yes. basically got everything ready to go for the airlines. I am ready for the airlines. Yes, I, I did all my training through the uh, Qantas Group Pilot Academy up at uh, Toowoomba at Well Camp. There's probably lots of people out there who've got questions about that. So if you want to look at the screen, there you may see some things pop up. We often get a lot of questions about Well Camp and those Qantas Cadetship programs and how they work. Yeah, happy to answer any questions so, you guys have. Sent them through. I know it's pretty tough to get into, isn't it? So definitely, yeah. Congratulations, yeah. <laughs> right up there anyway thank you yeah I appreciate that hey. <laughs> no it's a very competitive process to get in I know my, one of my mates from my course he applied for QG3 and was accepted in the QG20 so it took him 17 courses but he finally wow. got there and he's now a, uh, a jet star pilot so oh nice yeah it's great stuff best opportunity you can have to be a pilot in Australia so you can pretty much go straight from that uh, course into the airlines with the, the hours you got, is that how it works? Uh, well the way it works now, um, you finish your course and then you go do your interview with the Qantas group. Um, so that includes uh, sim check, or your psychometric testing, uh, behavioural interview as well. Um, and once you've passed all that, they'll put you on what's called the hold file. And then it's just a waiting game until a position opens up for you. Um, then after that, once you've got a position, type rating straight into the airline. Because it is very competitive in Australia, so there's not many positions for, is that fair to say? Well, <laughs> in my case, yes. <laughs> um, I've been waiting a little while, but um, there, there's plenty of jobs out there. Like everyone keeps saying, there is a pilot shortage, that is a real thing. Um, it all depends on timing, mostly. Uh, when I was put on hold, it was Christmas break, everything was shut down, so now that we're back into the hiring season this year, hopefully we'll get something soon. Um, but hey, just got to keep patient and wait. What about a job in a Dash 8? <laughs> <laughs> That's a dream for me, I yeah. love Dash 8s, yeah. Um, it could be any of the Qantas Group Airlines, uh, all six of them. Uh, could offer me a position. So who you got in the Qantas group then, that's six? Is that including Qantas Link? So there's Qantas Link, uh, you put me on the spot here, I should know this. Uh, <laughs> Pre-interview questions. <laughs> uh, you got Qantas Link, Network Aviation, Jet Connect, Jetstar, oh, okay, yep. Qantas Mainline, um, and Qantas Freight. So Network, they're in Perth, aren't they, the, the Fockers, is that, uh, is that right? Fockers, yeah. 320s, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, I didn't know they were a part of the Qantas group, so there you go. Yeah. Well, Jet Connect is also part of the Qantas group. They're um, New Zealand uh, based as well. I 
find that pretty interesting. I could yeah. do banks in Auckland. The beauty of it, you could end up anywhere in the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this guy down here is about to get wet in that tug. <laughs> <laughs> so you're flying the Diamond aircraft out there, weren't you? Training on them? Yeah, so I started my flying on a Diamond DA-40. Um, that was the, the older version though, with the um, not all the new FADEC controls, but all the classic uh, mixture pitch power. So uh, FedEx, is it a fully automated digital yeah, or something? 14, yeah, no, fully automated. Right, 270, runway 19 right, clip for takeoff. There we go, one clip. And that, and that controls all your, like your mixture and everything, doesn't it? Auto automatic. Sally Pular, and my cousins did all that, cost them 100000 by the time training was through, he now flies by lines. It's hard, hard road. Yeah, 100% yeah. agree, it's very difficult. But just persevering, anyone can do it. Well, it takes a special somebody. You got to be, you got to be honest. It's not, yeah. No, it's yeah, easy yeah. to say anybody can do it, but it, in the end, you've got to be. You have to be fit. That's the main thing. Um, can't be colour blind, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but no, it's uh, the the theoretical part of the training. It's, it's that would not, knock a lot of people out, I'd imagine. It does, but it's not difficult. It's just a lot of work. That's the the main thing. Um, people go to uni all the time, especially out of the academy, because it's so fast paced. It's only one year to go from zero experience to airline quality. Um, and people who've done uni always come out of it and say that was harder than uni. And you live out there too, don't you? So it's all like meals and everything provided. Is yeah, that right? yeah. yeah, yeah. So you live on campus. You can live in town if you want to. It's a 20 minute drive out to Bell Camp every day. Um, no uh, traffic though, is there? No, it? none at all. No. <laughs> no, but it's just easier to live on campus. You're staying with all your mates. Um, every night you're sitting there around a table studying, flight planning, everything. It's just a, a really good environment to be able to learn in. And what I find interesting out there too, you, you see at least you've got a good environment out there. With, you get the Cathay 747 comes in, so that's obviously yeah. stepping outside and seeing that, that sort of gets you... Or wakes you up at 10 up a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not just them, you've got uh, Qantas Link and Bonza now as well, and Rex all the time, going all day. And I must imagine that can get fairly busy out there too. Looking at World Camp on the radar, there's lots of, lots of aircraft in the circuit. I'm, yeah, I'm Absolutely, yeah. And they're, <laughs> they're increasing the amount of uh, students in each course now as oh, well, wow. so it's only going to get busier. Maybe one day we might see a little control tower out there. <laughs> well, that, there was plans for it, but I don't know what's going on with oh. it at the moment. Yeah. Oh, Julia's brought out the Tim Tams now. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be Julia flights without Tim Tams. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, no, here comes that rain. Have you got your umbrella? Coming down here, it's a Air New Zealand A320. 21 Neo, I think. Alright. Yeah, sorry, we're just sort of covering some things up here. Well, the shower passes over. It shouldn't be anything too bad, so. Bo, you've been coming out to Brisbane Airport quite a lot, haven't you? Yeah, I've been coming out here since I was about four years old. Oh, that long, okay. Um, I, did, I did bring some photos to show you guys, actually, of when I was that small. <laughs> I was going to say, that's probably, what, ten years ago, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bit longer than that, but... <laughs> ten years ago for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how you, how, yeah, that's a good point, though, Nick. How do you find it? Because a lot of people might look at you guys coming out of the cadet ship into, say, Jetstar, and think, oh, you're a bit young. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was the youngest in my course. Oh, wow, well, okay. Um, I applied for QG19. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 19. Nine, oh, well, wow, okay, so yeah. Yep. So, yeah, I, I got accepted in a QG19, but you had to be 18 and one month to start, and it started on the wow. 20th of June. I turned 18 on the 25th of June, so nice. I had to push my uh, course back one. Still made me the youngest in my course, though. <laughs> 
What did you find the hardest thing? Uh, flight planning, ATPL flight planning. Yeah, I've heard that's impossible. Yeah. I was lucky it's enough to pass it first try, uh, but there's many people out there who... It's very particular, isn't it? You've got oh. to, there's so many, yeah. Yeah. You make one tiny miscalculation and your whole Stuff flight plan's out. Yeah. Yeah, by two tons. <laughs> but you have no idea because you think you're right the whole time. Yeah, there's there are some movements on the ground at the moment. We're just um, keeping the camera away from the rain, that's all, because it's if I turn it too far to the right, you get all those raindrops on the lens. So that shower will pass over very soon, so I do apologize. Got to protect our equipment, that's the number one, isn't it? Of course, our safety too. So, we're yeah, in New Zealand down here, the A321 Neo. Beautiful aircraft, I'd love to fly one of them one day. What is your favourite aircraft, Nick? <laughs> I don't really have favourites. Uh, I'm very um, fond of the 350, that's for sure, and um, 747. Can't, can't knock a 747. How about you, both? Yeah, I'm the same. 747 all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Gavin? Uh, I'm, I'm a bit like you. I don't really have a favourite. They're so, all beautiful in yeah, their own way. I like anything with wings, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it gets you there safely, I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah, obviously you can't go past a 747, can you? Absolutely. Visibility's dropping a bit out there to the north. Yeah. Meta is still saying 10k's viz. Not sure I want to be flying out there today, <laughs> VFR. <laughs> Not VFR. <laughs> What's well, a minimum of 5k, isn't it? Five, Below yeah, yeah, 3,000. Uh, so. yeah. <laughs> no, 5k, yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was funny, during my CPL flight test, um, we were flying around uh, the Warwick area and there was a massive big bushfire on it that day. I guarantee there was just above 5 k's, it was just legal. It was probably one of the scariest flights I've done, but oh well, still passed, still happy, I still <laughs> got my license. <laughs> it's good for experience though, isn't it? That yeah, exactly. It makes yeah. you more confident, it's, it's like confidence is a lot when it comes to flying, isn't it? And that experience comes, yeah. Yeah. Your confidence from that experience. And I was lucky, my um, my instructor, he pushed us to go out in that kind of situation. That's what you want, you really want that. Yeah. Uh, obviously it's a bit risky, but you need experience, and yeah. um, I'm yeah. really grateful yeah. that we got to go out in those kind of conditions. Gary's just saying in the chat that um, all the planes uh, are getting a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Free bath. <Yeah. laughs> Camera's getting a bath too. <laughs> There's your gear over there, is it right? Ah, oh, yeah. It'll be fine. My brother took it to the um, Australian Grand Prix last weekend. Oh, Had a bit nice. of a leak in his bag, and I'm like, oh, is the camera right? It's fine. <laughs> Philippines? Trying to reset it out there, so he'll be in the next. So here's our butter machine, the A33200. 325 at Alpha 3, line up runway 19 left, wait, left, wait. Line up the one on the top. Rain is sort of easing off a little bit now. There's a question from Leo He's saying, Why do planes leave so quickly in Australia? Sure. You mean Sorry, the, like the turnaround times? Well, we 
have that Emirates down here. He sits on the ground for a, what, well over 12 hours. I always hear him leave 8.30, 9 o'clock every night, fly straight over my house. It's the best noise. Just rumbles, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is that going to be the same thing with the second one that they're bringing in as well? Oh yeah, that's that's later, isn't it? At night, isn't it? So. Yeah. I wish Quantits would bring in an A380. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Morning, uh, Annette Butler. Good morning. How are you doing? Who have we got here today? It's myself, and we've got Nick and Bo here. Julia's here in the background. She's having a morning coffee. It's going to take her a while. It's a big one. <laughs> American size. <laughs> She's going to be bouncing off the walls. That with a mixture of chocolate eggs. Is yeah, so Leo saying that in America you're waiting like 30 minutes just to take off in a 737? Okay. Oh, is that what she means? Okay, yeah. Well, there's not much traffic here, I guess, isn't it? So no, no. It's funny. Um, during the middle of my training, I got a tour of the uh, air traffic control tower here in Brisbane, and I was talking to the controllers, and they um, they really hate it when pilots sit on the ground for too long. Um, it's just it holds up traffic and other planes have to go around, space it gets all mixed up, so let's say pilots in Australia know to not wait around, especially when air traffic control tell them to go. Wavy Davy, yes, Gavin and Julia do go to other airports around Australia. I think it was four weeks ago with Sydney. Yeah, it's about that now, wasn't it? Yeah. Because I, th I think it's this week. I've been one month in the first class lounge this week. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've actually been up to the Sunshine Coast as well, done a couple of streams from there. Um, I'd love to go up there more often, but it's just easier for us to get here to Brisbane. Such a beautiful airport to fly into, Sunny Coast. And that new runway, isn't it? It's just yeah. perfect. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good, what, two and a half thousand metres long or something, isn't it? So, almost, yeah. yeah. One, seven, zero degrees, eight knots, runway one, nine, left, clear to land. Oh, yes, Paul Murphy, um, Julia does deserve her coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and Gavin also. Yes, I can't forget it. We like to rate the we like to rate the butter machines landing. <laughs> China recent today. I think it's the Star. What do we call it? The um, I always get a mix up Star. It's not the Star Alliance. It is, isn't it? Star Alliance. Yeah. No, it's um. Where is it? There we go. Sky Team. There uh, we go. Yeah. Nineteen forty Brisbane uh, Tower, runway one on the right, clear for takeoff. Runway one on the right, clear for takeoff. We've also got the uh, All Blacks Triple Seven in later on, so New Zealand one forty five. One five contact ground one two two decimal two five. One two two decimal two five and that's uh seven one five. I'm not sure if you're familiar too much with the streams, Nick, but we have um, one of our ATC friends, uh, Veronica, she's in the tower up here. She pops down every now and then, jumps on stream too, so Ah yeah. No. She might have been up there when you're up there. <laughs> Can't really remember. No, I, I was with a guy one named Rob. Thirty-five, runway one nine left. That's more uh, Brisbane Centre. Oh, so downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. Yeah. And it was funny um, when I was in there. I was sitting with another guy. Um, he was controlling the Gold Coast area, 
and then I did an IFR flight down to the Gold Coast and I remembered the voice. So I messaged, <laughs> messaged the guy that I knew, I'm like, hey, who was on um, Gold Coast Control tonight? And he sent me a photo of him sitting at the same desk that I was at. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Great. That's a massive room down there too, isn't it? I haven't been oh, lucky yeah. enough to visit, but yeah, I've seen the pictures. There's like five rows of cards. computers, all with radar screens, controlling everywhere around Australia. Did you ever consider the Air Force, maybe? I did. I did apply for it. Um, personal reasons, I turned it down. Um, chose to go through the academy instead. Um, not too sure if it was a good option or a good choice, but I am where I am now. I wouldn't change it for the world. Oh, I think you're in a good position. Oh, definitely. Quite a sign of 35, contact departure. Quite a sign of 35. What have we got here? Five dollar super chat from Tim Tamer One. Can't wait till next Sunday. I'll be at, I'll be in the Sky Lounge from 10 a.m. Where's that? Is that? We'll come down and meet. Oh, so that's the Ibis Hotel. Okay, it's going to come down and meet us here. That sounds good. Looking forward to that, Tim Tam. Yeah, let us know how that Sky Lounge is. Thanks for all the support, Tim Tam. So it's going to give that screen a wipe one more time. I get paranoid there's some raindrops on the camera lens because I can't really tell from this small screen. All right, it should be fine now. So how many, um, how many people are in that course at the one time? Well, in there? my course, we were a pretty small one. We started with uh, 15. Oh, okay, we ended up finishing with uh, six people left. Is that it? Original, yeah. yeah. The rest dropped to uh, courses behind. Oh, okay, courses, so they can go, okay, so they can go, they fall back to another course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think our course is pretty unlucky with um, flight cancellations and oh, right, okay. bad weather, all that kind of stuff. Um, but most of the newer courses now are starting with 20, 25. Wow. Yeah. And out of those six that finished, four of us graduated with everything that we needed to get an interview. And only three of us got on hold. So it was, our course was definitely um, a bit of a struggle to get through. You never know, you might end up on the A350s. Oh, yeah, that would be a dream. Sydney to London every day. or well, not every day, every, <laughs> every couple of days. <laughs> yeah, we also had... We got, Captain Ben, um, Qantas, he's an A330 FO. Yeah. He was on an SO, second officer on the A380. He ah. actually started off in the A330. Yeah. And then went out to the um, A380 as a second officer. We've got Philippines here. And now he's an FO yeah. on the A330. So. Yeah, no, that sounds like um, my mentor as well. He was started off on the Dash 8s, I believe. A380 second officer for a long time. And now he's a first officer on uh, 330s as well. They've been swapping up the Philippine Airlines at the moment, haven't oh, they? No, I was hoping for the Triple Seven today. But we've seen the Triple yeah, Seven, we've seen the A three fifty, we've seen the A three thirties. Seven six fourteen for it's been uh, The old uh, Philippines A three fifty is nicknamed the Love Bus. The Love Bus. I'm not too sure why, but there, there is a sticker on the nose that says the Love Bus. <laughs> 221, contact ground 122 Was yes, that the party bus that arrived before the 787? <laughs> oh, no, no, that's, um, yeah, that was probably Seoul, I think, that one. Come from Seoul. The party bus has already departed for Bali. <laughs> <laughs> Runway 
Is it a Korean Air triplet today, or is it a nah, the seven eight? It switches over to. I just want to show. I'm oh, just going to get this air. Oh, it's the um, oh, Challenger jet. So what have we got there from Jeff Andrews? I showed your <laughs> United seven eight seven video around at work. Everyone loved it. United representing. Thank you for the awesome channel, Julia, Gavin, and the mods. Yeah, how great was that landing? First class member there, yes. Yeah. Well, Jeff Andrews, thank you. So we've got the, uh, the Challenger Life Flight Jet. Velocity 775, runway 1 on the right, line up and wait, delay for spacing. 1 on the right, line up and wait. And Bo, I know your mum watches too. Maybe say hello to your mum. Yeah, hi mum. <laughs> Mum's at, at home with dad watching. Um, and with 614 kind of departures. I guess thank you to those uh, lovely people in my life to have taken me down to the airport at such a, a young age and um, start my plane spotting. Well, we had so much fun the other day at the loop. <laughs> yeah, we, we did have a lot of fun at the loop. Um, donuts and, um, <laughs> yeah. Luckily we weren't there today, we probably had to pack up that plane. Yeah. I can remember coming down when there was Hungry Jacks in the uh, International Terminal. When is there Hungry Jacks down there, was it? There? there was, where the Red Rooster oh, is now. Yeah, yeah, it was a Hungry Jack. I, I think I bought a photo of it, actually. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's where it all started for me, back, um... Nearly, nearly uh, 30 years ago. <laughs> 20 odd years ago. And I think we had Lloyd before in the chat say this is the last day for Korean to operate the 787. Oh really? Yeah, so as far as I know they'll switch over to the A330-300 and then later on to the uh, A330-200 if I'm correct in saying that. Wow. This looks really nice though, this Dreamliner. It's one of the best liveries of any airliner, I reckon. Yeah, that blue with the white. It's just beautiful. It really does pop with uh, the 787 It does, well, it, it definitely does. It suits those, the shape of the 787. Tips and tricks for anybody willing, well, out there eager to get into the Qantas cadetship program uh, at all. Yeah. Any sort of tips? Um, just focus on, um, if you're still in school, definitely focus on uh, maths and physics. That's something that um, I didn't do. Uh, and I found it a little bit difficult, or more difficult than others who knew about it. Uh, psychometric testing wise, when you're doing the test, just be yourself. Because um, as you do the interview, they have all your answers up on the screen so they can tell if you're lying. <laughs> Same with your um, airline interview as well. So any people out there who are going for airline jobs very soon, just be yourself. Uh, you can't really lie to them. They can figure you out very quickly. people in the chat calling the Korean Air the Pepsi plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see it, yeah. The, the logo on the tag. Yep. Do you think we'll see him go behind these clouds? It's hard to say. To make it, it is very tap. deceptive. Make a um, emoji for the Pepsi plate. Left to the 1388, runway one on the left, clear for takeoff. 
Down on left cliff, take off velocity 1388. Did you ever come into Brisbane at all? To because you guys come in here sometime to do like a, a wireless approach, don't yeah. you? Did you ever get the opportunity for that? So, funny story about that. Um, the day before we were going to do the ILS into Brisbane, when I was doing my IFR training, I, that was the day I got to tour the tower. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I was up at um, up the top and I asked the, the manager, I'm like, hey, I'm um, planning on doing the ILS tomorrow, will that be all right? And he goes, yep, yeah, no, that, that should be fine. No worries. Uh, just give us a call tomorrow morning and we'll um, double check for you. So I went to the planning room, had a well camp that morning, and I called up the tower and I said, hey, just I was in the tower yesterday one, right? and you Please guys said off. it was okay. <laughs> Is it still okay? And they said, oh, unfortunately not. We're a bit of bow on staff today, so we can't do it. So I never got to do the ILS in Brisbane, which is unfortunate. But, uh, Plenty of ILSs into um, yeah, Gold Coast and on the simulator as well. I always forget the Gold Coast has got the ILS now. So that's on runway 14, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, only run uh, 14. One of the most interesting approaches you can do in the Gold Coast is the um, the arc, the VOR arc into. Um, one four, so you're out over the ocean, and you're curving round until you finally line up with the runway and then straight in. Trying to do that at night time is a bit. <laughs> in a, basically a thunderstorm as well. Wasn't a fun flight. Kilometers. Just star on the road. Reducing to six kilometers in showers rain. Temperature two two. Q and H one zero two one. Information Quebec. Is on the 144, runway 1 on the left, please take off. Next to take off for 1021. Jeff Andrews uh, gifting, was it five memberships? Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, very kind of you, Jeff. Thank you so much. And it's great that United are hearing about the landings here in Brisbane. Oops. Thank you Jeff, yeah it's always great having you with us. Brisbane Tower, Korea near 408, taxi to only 191. Great and Brisbane too. Neo's back to New Zealand. So when you're saying the arc approach, that's like a curved. Is that a VOR or is that a, like an RNAV? Uh, you can do VOR or um, NDB. NDB. Um, I'm not too sure if. Um, a lot of viewers wouldn't even know what NDB is. But <laughs> like, there's not many of them around anymore, is it? No, no, the only one I've done is at um, Sunshine Coast, <laughs> and um, they are horrible to use. I'll tell you what, they're not very. Yeah. They're <laughs> Glad we don't use them anymore. Especially when it's windy, isn't it? It's not very <laughs> no. for tricky. Yeah. Just a shout out to Rob LHR. Uh, six months in the captain's lounge. Oh, Rob. I think we're going to Rob's rooftop actually when we're in Heathrow. It's <laughs> <laughs> close to Heathrow there. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can get a stream up there from Heathrow when we're over there. And, and Nick, when you do your flight planning and all that, when you first start off, do you, are you still using paper maps or you're on the, um, the iPads now, or like the yeah. EFBs? Yeah, so when we did our first few flight plans, Junior Module 3 flying, all of it was done on paper. Um, and it's still done on paper right through till you get your CPL, at the academy anyway. But after a while, you kind of just start to use your iPad. And it's a bit like getting your driver's license. It, yeah. You do everything the right way, and then once you're out, it's just like, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Like I would still draw on my map and whatever, like have the flight plan and you still have the paper log, but um, 
You just use the iPad and the EFB app and that gives you all the directions, distances, all the wind speeds for the flight. And so much easier, isn't it? Oh, it's incredible what modern technology has done for aviation. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I've been on a few navs in a, in a 172 and yep. when it's a little rough conditions, you got two full-size men, it's a bit hard <laughs> to look down, look <laughs> up, <laughs> yep. to figure out where you are, where you're going. Yeah, you would have, not uh, that easy. Were you using six-pack? Yeah, 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 I've, uh, I've never flown a glass screen. Uh, see, I've only flown glass. Oh, wow. Yeah. Couldn't imagine what it's like back with a six-pack. <laughs> I want to do it one day, but for now, I'll stick with my nice shiny glass <laughs> you're too spoiled <laughs> yeah, I recently flew um, one of the uh, G3X but an aircraft with a G3X oh, wow. system in it Oh, what aircraft was that? That was oh, out at Red Creek, it was a 172 oh wow um, oh, it's, it's the best thing I've ever used it's like um, jumping out of a Toyota, getting into a Mercedes kind of thing. It's all touch screen, everything's wow. like right there in front of you. It has all the VTC maps and everything just inbuilt into it. It's you can connect to your phone to a lot of them too, can't you? So if you've got a flight plan on your phone, you just Bluetooth it across. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I didn't bother with that, but um, yeah, I heard you can do that. With, with the Garmin app especially, with the Garmin EFB, it syncs everything across. I hear a Fokker behind us. Stand Air 408, runway 19 right, cleared for takeoff. Paul Murphy's just asking, do helicopters land at Brisbane Airport sometimes? Yeah, we get uh, rescue 533s over here. They're a Leonardo uh, helicopter. Airbus helicopters is on yeah. the side of the airport as well. And, um, we got that emoji there for the rescue 533, so that's the rescue ones. Um, occasionally we do see some choppers come in for like a VIP sort of transfer. Yeah. And the Airbus helicopter, that used to be for the um, defence, wasn't it? The army. So I don't know I'm if they're doing sure. them anymore. So I'm not too sure what's happening over there at those hangars. I've seen the uh, military ones come in a few times, uh, but it's... Is that the, the, nine, the MRH-90s, was it? Yeah. yeah, they're, yeah. they're not flying anymore, though, are they? Not Due to sure. that accident, yeah, a little while ago, so yeah. I'm pretty sure they've stopped. Uh, that was tragic, that one. Uh, when I was in Air Force Cadets um, a few years ago now, we uh, did a, a camp up at um, Rough Base Townsville. We got to go in one of the MRH-90 helicopters. Oh. With the doors open over Magnetic Island, everything was great. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, we actually got got a ride in the C-17 at Ambly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would have been cool. Oh, man, that was like a the best roller coaster ride ever. <laughs> Did you have the door down? At yeah, the we well? took yeah. off with the clothes, but then just like a shotgun take off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sitting sideways. Yeah. And then, yeah, right, sort of got up a little bit. Only about a thousand okay, feet, maybe 1,500 feet. Yeah, they opened up the, okay. the door. Yeah. So, so, like, I still smile and get shivers when I think about it. Just <laughs> I'm jealous of you. Oh man. <laughs> I'd love to do that. <laughs> yeah, because there's no windows when the, the ramp's closed, so when you're landing, you've got no idea. It's just a <laughs> yep. slut on the ground. It's one of the only aircraft that can deploy the reversers in flight. Oh, in flight, is that so? Yeah. Oh. I think there's a few out there, but C-17 is very famous for being able to do that. Do the extra braking. Yeah, it's more for um, combat purpose. If you need to do a combat approach, it slows you down. It gets you down quicker, so you're out of harm's way. I think um, the, yeah, the C-17 would be an absolute awesome aeroplane to fly. Absolutely. I've never been interested in the fighter jets myself. Can't get enough of a fighter jet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. The F-35s. I'm not too much of a fan of them. Uh, I have to say, I'm more of a fan of the Hornets. Such Super a classic Hornets. look, though, aren't they? They're like, oh. a, yeah, they are a good-looking jet. Amazing. And um, F-15s as well. I love them. Yeah. Well, they're 
they're an old aeroplane too, aren't they? They're 15. They've been around a long time. A long time, yeah. Same with the Hornets as well. They've been around since eight or something, or maybe even earlier. How did you feel when you did your first solo flight? Was it out there at World Camp? It was, yeah. <laughs> it took me um, two weeks to go from first flight to solo. Is that it? Two that, weeks? Yeah. So how many hours did you do for that? Uh, I was about 13 and a half, I think oh, I that's, had. That's a lot to take in. Like I know you got the time and the experience there in that, those hours, but... Yeah. Sorry, we welcome to the Cloud Lounge in 0 j 70 Oh, welcome aboard. Remember. Up there in the Cloud Lounge, coffee's the best in town. <laughs> I'm better at supplying the coffee than me talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just back to the, the solo. Yeah. It was only 13 and a half hours. Um, and my instructor, I feel like he had a lot of faith in me. <laughs> Probably too much. Well, what's the normal? Like 15 hours, is it? Or? Yeah, so it, it's around normal. But um, the reason I say you had a lot of faith in me is um, my first flight, you go and um, learn the effects of controls, how to roll the aeroplane, how to pitch the aeroplane, what the rudders do, all that kind of stuff. And we're coming back into World Camp, and um, he go asked me, do you want to do you want to fly the circuit? I said, yeah, right, that'll be cool. So I uh, flew the circuit, and we're now on final approach, and. He's like, okay, start reducing the power, lowering the nose a bit, put some flaps out. I'm like, okay, all right. And we get the runways coming closer. Okay, he's got to take over here. There's yes. Just, there's no <laughs> way. Um, we get right above the runway. He goes, okay, idle power, slight bit of back pressure, and then we, we hit the ground. I'm like, oh I just landed that. Yeah. Oh, I just landed that. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> First ever flight. Good morning. Runway one on a left. Do you ever fly um, flight simulator at all? I did a little bit of it. Um, it wasn't a, a massive, um, or oh, wasn't really into it, but... Um, it does give you that little bit of an understanding though, doesn't it? Like, to an extent. Yeah. It's not, yeah, realistic, but it's... It, it's it pretty that basic now. Feel, yeah. Like, the, the new one, um, Flot Sim 2020, I think they're up to now, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, but you just don't get the, uh, the feel. Fock, I call that a Fokker 18, sorry. <laughs> Fokker 100. <laughs> Talk, <laughs> talking about f 18 <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't get the same um, the same feel like the G-forces and all their um, effects going on while you're actually flying. And that's what flying is all about. You feel that you feel everything, and you sort of understand, okay, what that feeling means, don't you? So yeah, and that's what um, that's what I loved about uh, when I was doing my sim check with the Qantas group is you get to fly the um, Boeing 767 full wow, motion really? simulator. Wow, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. So that, that's what they do a lot of their sim checks in. Damn. Um, yeah, so you do about half an hour of flying in that, turn on the full motion and it, oh. it's unbelievable how realistic it feels. You kind of forget that you're in a, a simulator. <laughs> yeah, that story you are saying before actually, I, I got the opportunity, I've done a little bit of flying in a, a Beach 18, I don't know if you know what a Beach 18 is, it's a twin engine, radial engine, uh, to a 10, 10 seater aircraft. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've done a little bit of flying in that, not myself, but I've been in the in the right seat. And we're in the approach, on the approach down the, uh, to the Gold Coast, and I flew the downwind base and on the final, and I was still flying it over the threshold, and I had that same thinking, oh, it's going to take over any second now, it's going to take over any second now, but no. Yeah, no. It went down, this was at night time too, my first night landing. Yeah. <laughs> it went down pretty hard. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Right, I, I agree with you on that. One night landings at the start were um, a bit questionable. It took me a while to get used to it. Especially flying a little DA40, yeah. once you get down low, the runway disappears and it's just kind of like a black nothingness. You've got to just guess where the runway is. And the runway at Well Camp, it doesn't have center light. It doesn't, does it? Okay. No. Some fans behind us. <laughs> yeah, Julius just had to, she's ducked off for a little bit. So. Yeah. <laughs> is that QF 119 down there? It's not the 830 today, is it? Beck Turner, you were down at the loop this morning with the family. Oh, yeah, Beck on 119. 
Luke's probably one of the best spots. Hey, it is, Brisbane. yeah. Really? Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's QF 185 going over to Queenstown. So the next, we should have the uh, A330 departure going to Auckland very soon, coming on out. Jeff Andrews just asking where your bunnies are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He'll make an appearance soon. <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> Easter Gavin is coming. <laughs> oh no. So when it comes to flying, Nick, did you what did you struggle with, like the actual flying itself? Did anything in particular, or are you just a bit of a natural at it? I wouldn't say I'm a natural at it. No, um, it took me a while to get used to um, putting in enough rudder. That oh, that's a, that's very common. Yeah, you can't say that's a, a lot of people. I think 99% of people have that problem. Yeah, so you can't really. You know. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> No, but they, they always say glider pilots make really good yes, um, yes. powered pilots because yeah, they, they use rudder all the time. Glider, glider. And that's a good point, yeah. If anyone's looking at there to learn to fly, glider, start off in gliders. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Can't recommend that enough. Gliding is the most fun. Okay, 925, boost Flying. Julie is saying, show us your bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> fun isn't it? We just come in here have some fun. It's great to have you guys with us. Thank you for having us here. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, thank you. It's great. Like Joel Ottaway, where is the KAL going? The Korean Airlines, um, back to Seoul, up there in South Korea. We're up to 550 plus likes. Oh, well done. Thank you everybody. Oh, he's doing a good job down there, just filling in for Julia. Well, she's disappeared. <laughs> yeah, <she should> be <laughs> Big shoes to fill and I can't fill them at all. She's got some people here behind to come say hello. <laughs> disappeared at the wrong time. She'll be back soon. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Try star right. Darren, yes, the per well done, right. pesky well rabbit. <laughs> He's ju uh, Gavin's just hopped off to see some fans that have turned up. So, and Jeff Andrews, yes, weather balloon time. I bet it's a boy again, yes, for sure. Andrew Thorne says we want to see Gavin where the money is. We'll make that happen, <laughs> don't you worry. Okay, I'm thirty two ready. Okay, ninety two, Brisbane Town. Okay, morning, Connor. Okay, Connor. Connor, 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 Annette is also here. So hi John and Annette, thank you for the support. I love these Fokker departures on 19 right. Snap, <laughs> <that> crackle, pop. <laughs> Go far down there. I, th nice I thought that was Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Annette and Logan, uh, I used to go gliding with my dad years ago. Wow. Yeah, gliding's very good. A very good community atmosphere at all the gliding clubs around Australia. It's definitely the place to be if you want to learn how to fly and um, have a good laugh with some mates. 
Hello, it is. Morning, Melbourne Aviation. I think I've done one glider flight. Yeah, I was up at Kabukja. Yep. Very popular up there, so. Definitely, yeah. I did a lot of, um, well, not a lot of gliding, I think. Uh, five hours or so out at uh, Warwick. Yep. Out near the dam. That was good fun. Did some loops. Oh, nice. Yeah. Connors 185, contact departures. Get it. That is Connors 185, thanks. Uh, Julius saying that uh, the weather bal uh, balloon oh. is going to go off 9.15, so oh, under yes. a minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's got some fans up here now. She left at the wrong time. <laughs> got the Qantas 330 now, taxi. Yes. This is my favourite departure, I think, the old A320. Yeah. Sorry, the A320. Yeah, A320. Yeah, A320. Yeah, A320. Yeah, A320. Yeah, right. I'm getting everything mixed up today, calling it F100 and F18. <laughs> Poor Murphy, does Brisbane Airport get any snow? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you there, Paul, but that, yeah. If we did, I think it, <laughs> everything would just collapse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? But, yeah. We don't have any sort of ground equipment whatsoever to look after that no I don't think we're built for the snow either no way <laughs> no nah. the closest we get to snow would be out at Stanthorpe or um, those places out west left, clear for especially out at Wellcamp when I was there during the winter it was minus five every morning and you can't get ice there can't you yeah so. yeah we had to put um, socks on the wings <laughs> <laughs> overnight keep them from getting um, ice for me yeah, we were over in Frankfurt in December last year and it was interesting over there. They got battered with snow and the way everything, all the ground machinery comes out, you know, the snow plows and yeah. it's just, yeah. Did you have to get de Um Yes, we did, yes. Yeah. Yeah, funny story with that, we were actually, we flew out of Launceston back in January. It's a night time departure and we actually had the ice on the wings down there in January. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. Yeah. We, they started up and we taxied out to the runway and then it just started to rain a little bit yep. and I think that's what concerned the pilots the most and uh, yeah they come over to the PA and said oh there's actually some ice on the wing so we've got to go back and yeah, fix it up. Yeah it's very dangerous. You never want to be caught in a situation where you've got ice on your any part of the airframe really. Especially your pitot tube and the wings. It's not fun. So your pitot tube measures your, your dead, so, so your total air pressure is like your indicated air speeds. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. you can see them on there on the A330, probably a bit too far away. They're typically around the nose area. On the larger jets, yes. Um, many light aircraft there underneath the wing. Um, I know the DA40 has a little, it's kind of like an antenna, but upside down underneath the wing. Like a what you have in the back of your car, like a shark fin kind of thing. On a 19 zero three runway one nine eleven. Put that on your Cessna. It's probably one nine eleven. Gun barrel. <laughs> Sticking out the front of it. Hey, good morning to Wayne P. Oh, Wayne P. G'day, Wayne. Julia's here. She's just gone downstairs. She'll be back. I feel lost when she's not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jeff Andrews saying it's balloon time. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Go up? If you keep an eye over there at the Met Office, um, yeah. Kurt Erickson, hello from Wisconsin. Oh, beautiful. Annette Logan, I wish yeah, Brisbane would get cold enough for snow. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd move to Cairns if we got <laughs> the snow. <laughs> Good morning, line up for runway one on left. I wouldn't be going to work if it snowed, so hey, I'm happy. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone will be. I think we'd be made too, wouldn't we, Nick? Ah, oh, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm interested to see this weather balloon. I've never seen it before. 
9.15 every day and 9.15 a.m. and 9.15 p.m. Yeah. Hello to Rigoberto, I hope I've said that right. Rigoberto, yes, yes. he's there in Los Angeles. We're running a bit behind today, aren't we? Three minutes behind. <laughs> Some call it the gender reveal. <laughs> but it's always a boy. <laughs> We're hoping for a pink one one day. You never know, it might change. If we can get a pink one, we can get some spray paint and put uh, JF on it, Julia Flights maybe. <laughs> maybe they got the day off. Maybe. The weather's 24-7, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Weather doesn't take a day off. <laughs> okay, so we've got the butter machine lining up. And How Julian's nice the saying... Out there, though. Sorry, Kevin. No, oh, sorry. Uh, Julian just saying, Princess to sing pushback. Oh, we're still waiting for him. Look, he's here. Here we go, the A390. <laughs> I should go to bed today. I should go back to bed, honestly. <laughs> A330. You need more coffee. Oh, maybe it's too much. Just tuning in, uh, you got myself, Gavin here, Julie's here. Oh, what the? Oh my god, <laughs> Tim Tam coffee. Got got Tim Tam coffee now. Oh, happy. Happy. We got Bo down there today, he's in the command center. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, everybody, if I miss comments. And um... one of our first class members. And then we got one of his mates here with Quite us, um, yeah, sure Nick. We've both got the L plates on, so... Yeah. <laughs> ah, don't worry. Lachlan McKay, try living in Canberra during the winter. No, I, oh. I'll pass, yeah. Yep, yeah, no. No, thank you. Paul Murphy, I have a phobia of thunderstorms. I'm oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Flying in them especially. Yeah. Oh, I love a good thunderstorm. Did you do your training around summertime, was it, or was it in the winter? Um, well, I did most of my... We, we have Christmas off, so um, six... Well, I, did. I did 12 weeks before Christmas, 12 weeks after. Oh, so right. it's kind of dodged a bit of summer. Because summertime, yeah, flying VFR in Australia, especially this part of the world, can be a little bit tricky. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bunny Who's made that appearance back? <laughs> Audience wants to see you wear them, Gavin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to Aviation Emily. Good morning. Astrid saying weather balloon incoming. I can't see it. We, oh, it's coming in. we can't see it just yet. It snuck off early. Yeah, Dave Hunt, there would be a massive uh, exodus north if there was snow here, 100%. <laughs> The old Bruce Highway would be a car park. <laughs> More than it already is. <laughs> exactly, it's right. <laughs> Best of times. Property 115, Brisbane targeting.
So how did you feel when you did your first solo anyway? Were you relieved or were you anxious? No, it was the best feeling, honestly. Um, uh, I was a bit nervous on my pre-solo, uh, yeah, pre-solo flight because your instructor will take you up, do a few circuits, make sure you're not um, too dangerous. <laughs> know what you're doing. Um, and that pre-solo flight, I was so nervous because I really wanted to go solo that day. I had all my family up from Brisbane to come and watch me and I felt a lot of pressure. Um, and so it wasn't a great flight, I was making few silly mistakes uh, anyway we come back in taxi off to the side and he well we shut down the engine and he jumps out and he goes you're going I was really confused I'm like oh, I just did not too great but if you insist I'll go um, so yeah took off first takeoff solo it's it's a weird feeling because the plane's so much lighter than before it's so and it, different isn't it rock, rockets up thank you Julia that, uh, Brisbane, <laughs> Brisbane Airport, little <laughs> toy planes. <laughs> yeah, the, the aircraft will rocket up a lot faster than normal and you get to uh, 500 feet, make a turn onto a crosswind, down to bay, uh, downwind. Yeah, my first ever solo landing, that was um, I wouldn't say it was amazing, but definitely um, <laughs> it was a solid, solid landing. Um, and the tradition out at the academy is um, once you come back in, all your course mates will uh, grab... Uh, Buy your beer. No, but I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, they all get um, buckets of water and they um, all line up one by one, they'll chuck buckets of water on you. <laughs> so it's no good if you do your solo in winter. <laughs> Definitely don't want that. Mine was uh, 29th of September. 2022. It wasn't fully summer, but it wasn't Blossy winter either. Yeah, they, they are fully glass cockpits, are they? Look, so. Yeah. So when you do your nabs, when you're saying it before you're flying with like paper charts, you're learning with that. You can still cheat, can't you? Let's look up. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, double check. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that reassurance, isn't there? Yeah, it, it's a good feeling knowing that even if you think you're lost, you have the the GPS there to I know exactly where you are. Just a little sneaker. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's oh, good. I'm fine. Oh, that's right. That's down there. Oh yeah, yeah. I know where I am. I definitely didn't know. No. Um, you get used to using the paper maps after a while, recognising different f symbols and towns on the map. It becomes second nature to you. And then when you do your IFR flying, it's, it's so much better, so much easier. You just put it in the, put, it, put your route into the GPS and away you go. Plane will follow it, do it itself. Bruce Nee 777 aka Tony Balloon on strike won't get paid oh, double time. <laughs> Well, I don't know what happened. Well, if it comes out, let's just hope it is a pink one today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're getting it ready, they're changing it. Yeah, hopefully. That's the delay. Adrian's down at the loop. Hello, mate. So that wind is changing direction again. I'm looking over there, that little, where can I see? Velocity uh, 605, runway 1 on right. Smoke right, coming out of that little right, right, chimney over there. I don't know if that's coming from the west or... Paul Murphy's told us a joke. What do you call someone who's obsessed with the moon? What do you got? It says a lunatic. A lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Runway one on right, clear for takeoff. I don't know, I think I saw someone, it was it Peter there in the chat said the, the weather balloon has already been released. And it landed somewhere over in Morton Island, off the coast of Morton Island, is that right? Oh, I must have missed that one. Astrid's saying she's been to Tasmania once and it was minus 15 oh. minimum. 
and she, and she was sitting outside in a singlet enjoying it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, thank you. Not for me. So on our Julia Flights program here, we call um, the A350 the princess. Ah, yes. Some, you know, have the nicknames like the king and the queen. So. Princess is a good name for it. Such a, it is a nice looking jet, isn't it? Especially those winglets. Yeah. Good yeah. Point, rescue 530 I love the oh, Rescue 533, the chopper over the other side. Rescue are you happy to depart on track? The wind's uh, 160 degrees, 13. Hey, from Rescue 533. Rescue 533, copied uh, requirement to track over the 19 right threshold, the Hotel 2, depart on track, clear for takeoff. For on track and, uh, requirement to track I think on Friday we're right talking right. about where the balloon went, oh, was it? Could have been, yeah. And it had a shiny thing on the bottom of it? Yeah, and it was, yeah, massive, yeah. So it does, by the sound of it, it does uh, land. So sort of Rescue 533, get those emojis out. 6605, contact departures. 5605, good morning. Hello to Malaysian A380 fan, Dallas, Australia. Have you ever considered flying helicopters? <laughs> I've only been in two in my life and I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't want to fly them. Not my kind of fly. Too many moving parts. Isn't yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. And not cheap at all. Definitely not. Yeah, it was funny, the first helicopter flight I went was the Army one, MIH. Oh, yes, yep. 90. And uh, second one, um, I flew to my school formal in a helicopter. What? Yeah, yep. Yeah, it was me and my best mate. We decided we wanted to outdo everyone. We brought their <laughs> Ferraris and Lamborghinis, whatever. Like, nah, that's not expensive enough for us. We're going with a helicopter. What sort of chopper was it? Uh, it was a Bell Jet Range. Oh, was, what? Yeah. yeah. Cost us $1,100 from Archerfield over to uh, Clayfield here. Was that five minutes? Yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 10. But it was a good experience having everyone there looking at us on the school oval distract them from all the nice cars out the front <laughs> Dan Metcalf saying I love the Aussies are afraid of snow <laughs> the lowest temperature this year was minus 25 in Chicago it'd kill for our weather <laughs> I, I would too if I lived over there <laughs> Australia would literally shut down if we had that. Yeah. <laughs> the Ice Age will be back. Cross 510, wind 160 degrees, 1 2 knots, runway 19 left, clear to land. Clear 19 left, what is the I love watching these A350s take off. The way they rotate, it just seems so effortless. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be much flex in those wings at all, it's just. Just that's easy, gone. Yeah. That's what I love about the 787 is the wing flex. They've got that, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Hello to Milwinkin3325 from Milwaukee. And Tom Coleman from... Louisiana. I don't think I'm. I think I munted that up then. Louisiana. That's Louisiana. it. Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> Astrid says she lives in Lismore. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I think you said that before, Astrid, but I um, missed you. Yeah, it's so sad. No one. Rex doesn't fly to Lismore anymore. It's really bizarre. Rex. Lismore has the the prison right near the airport, does it not? Is that? Uh, I'm not too sure actually. Uh, I think, because me, my instructor and my best mate, we were all trying to fly to Coffs Harbour. We tried to go three times, each time we never made it. Uh, um, Is that due to weather, was it? Or? Uh, due to weather, first time, 
third strike the second time. Oh no. And um, the third time it was duty or flight duty time limit. So I think we only made it to Lismore. Um, and we had to turn around. Coffs Harbour was just too far. So you had the, the bird strike in the diamond, was it? Or? Yeah, yeah. No. On takeoff or was that cruise? No, it was on takeoff. Um, we, uh, I set full power and we're rolling down the runway and we see this flock of birds just chilling on the runway. Like, perfect spot to have a picnic. Anyway, um, I try to pull up a bit earlier and one of the birds decides to take off at the same time. And one bird came in and two birds came out. It wasn't, wasn't fun. So we, um, yeah, it was very scary in that moment. I didn't know if my engine was gonna shut down on me. Didn't know if my air intake had been blocked. So. Oh, I, sorry. Did you get actually get airborne? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I was airborne, about maybe ten feet off the ground when Ooh. this bird went through the prop. So I had to keep going. The runway wasn't long enough to uh, come back down and stop. So I only climbed up to five hundred feet. Did a low level circuit. Didn't want to push the engine too much and. Um, come back down and land and during the flight like it was a proper emergency I, I wasn't nervous at all I think the adrenaline kicked in yeah and then when I got on the ground that's when it kind of set in and I yeah I you realize how lucky yeah <laughs> very lucky because even in cruise you can be up around three and a half four and a half thousand feet yeah and you can just see some sort of massive bird or an yeah. ibis or a pelican and it just, <laughs> <laughs> it's like what the massive yeah, yeah the one we hit was a, a big hawk oh yeah they a flock of them they love flying around well camp those hawks <laughs> you're always like in the circuit and one like just misses your windscreen you probably get, you you get nice thermals out there I imagine too from all the farms yeah, and that sort of stuff wouldn't you yeah. well, there's a lot of gliding that goes on around um, Darling Downs and out west uh, I know there's Oh, I forgot what the place is called, but it's halfway between Dolby and yeah, Tool, like John Darian. I, I know the one, yeah. John yeah, Darian, see, yeah. yeah. There's a big gliding club there. Warwick does a lot. It's a nice part of the world out there. I like Toowoomba. Yeah. Got Oki airspace out there too, the military. Oh. <laughs> is that a bit of a hassle, is it? It's a big hassle for us, yeah. yeah. Especially if you're doing the, um, the sit out of... What one is it? Three runway three zero. It's as soon as you take off, you instantly have to turn left to be able to avoid the um, restricted zone, Voki. But that is where we do a lot of our ILS training as well as Oki. Uh, when it's not active, well, um, it's active quite a lot too. Yeah, it is. It is, and um, a lot of people who have their uh, instrument rating tests booked. We'll have to reschedule due to Oki suddenly becoming active, <laughs> which is unfortunate. All right, here goes Singapore. Yeah, just watch watch the wings. How they, if we lucky enough, if it gets up early enough. Effortless is almost vertical sort of runs. Plain Pete 66 is saying the weather balloon is blue, so when it eventually lands in the ocean, it blends in with the water. It doesn't seem to attract marine life. Yes, yeah, Veronica actually told us that, you know, ATC Veronica, she right. mentioned that on the last stream she was here. Oh. <laughs> so spoiled. Everyone is enjoying the show so far. Having a lot of fun, guys. 
<laughs> indeed, you, indeed, yes. Thank you for having us, Julia. It's a pleasure. Uh, it's always wonderful to have our amazing guests here on the show, co-hosting the um, show with us. Hope you guys are enjoying our um, plane spotting adventures here on Julia Flights. One of the circuit in the world. <laughs> <laughs> EQOs in the circuit at World Camp. Wow. Rob, Rob LHR, yes, 777, the Prince. I think I'd agree with that. What's that? 777 the Prince. I'd agree with that. Yeah, I think we, did we call that the Prince? I think we did that. Yes, yeah, we, yeah, we call that the Prince, yeah, here on Julie Flights. And Airbus A350 is definitely a princess here on the show. <laughs> What, what is the Dreamliner then? <laughs> no nickname for uh, Dreamliner yet. No. So guys, if you have any ideas, let us know in the chat. <laughs> Duchess, mate. The Duchess is the um, uh, pink Fokker. Not pink Fokker. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's right. already taken. <laughs> yeah, so. So guys, please give us a thumbs up if you if you're enjoying the show. Please subscribe if you are new here on Julie Flights. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. A full house here on, on the show. We've got Gavin behind the camera. Myself, Julia, we've got uh, Nick and Bo, and also um, some of our members here behind the scenes. Dan Metcalf, uh, speaking about wing flex, Embraer 195E2 is like a baby Dreamliner with the raked wing tips. Ah. We don't see too many. Well, there is one E2 in Australia, um, that Air Kiribati. I'm not sure where it's at the moment. It used to be stored here in Brisbane. Is that the um, one? That was out of Wellcam, yeah. yeah. They, they used to be out of Wellcam a lot, that one actually. Sit there, yeah. Yeah, it looks like Air Kiribati or something, but it's, it's pronounced Air Kiribati or something, yeah. Oh, it's right. too short. No, when I was out there, we still had the Virgin 777s. Oh, nice. Sitting around yeah. there, yeah. They left halfway through my course. Went off to Qatar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we made a couple of trips out there to see that. It was very yeah, interesting to see them sitting out there. You get yeah. up nice and close. Yeah, they're massive. You don't realise how, how big aeroplanes are until you're right next to them. Especially those big 777s, 350s. And the 777, yeah, is very impressive up close. I find it more impressive than the A380, to be honest. It's, yeah. The A380 is huge, but it's not. it doesn't seem to be as long, if that makes sense. When you get to send right next to a 777, it just seems to go on and on and on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jeff Andrews heading off now. He's going to head off to bed. Thanks, thanks, Jeff. Thanks for joining in and thanks for your support. Yes, we can't Just, wait to uh, see you with the bunny ears on. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh. 802 Brisbane Tower, runway 19 left to clear for takeoff. Where have they gone? There they are. Left, there and thanks for the nice uh, comments there, Jeff, um, <laughs> for Nick and I. We, we do have the trading <laughs> wheels on, so um, we, we appreciate that, that comment. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Paul Murphy, that was one for you, Nick. Um, tell the good man I wish him well in his aviation career. Oh, thank you, Paul. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's such a great career to be in. Everybody say hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, Kevin's got the ears on now, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I've got. 
And that's saying um, her dad used to do gliding at Amberley until the fees oh, got too high and yep. moved out to Warwick. Gavin and Julie got their Easter eggs for our fans in the background. <laughs> Astrid saying that um, she's she's got aviation tags, uh, Dragon Air A330. Dreamliner the Jack. Uh, Paul Murphy's just saying Dreamliner the Jack. The Jack. The Jack. I am just gonna run. You're a good guy. This Tom Coleman 757-787 Plastic Princesses. Wow. I thought, yeah, and actually I thought the 787 was the Plastic Princess. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That rings a bell. I've heard that before. Tim Tam saying... There um, we go, speaking of the 787. Speaking of Tim Tam's... <laughs> Tim Tam's saying... Um, they'll be on the Alliance E190 instead of the Fokker. <laughs> oh. No, give me a Fokker. <laughs> Dan Metcalf thinks the Dreamliner should be called the Sexy Lady or Sexy Bird. <laughs> sexy Bird. <laughs> actually have a bit of a, a royal family here. We've got a, a, a king, a queen, princess, prince. So I don't know what's left. A, a duke maybe? A duke? <laughs> yeah, because the Dutch is already taken by the pink Fokka. So can't be a duchess. We need something else. A la oh, it's ladies next, isn't it? After Duchess? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> AB videos, is that buzzer I can what hear? He is around somewhere. Oh, I have heard him too. Was that it then, or was that me? Yes. I think that was him. <laughs> he gave us a bit, a, bit, a bit of a concert today, massive performance from Buzzer. <laughs> he was. Um, so just start mine. Okay. Really happy. Wayne P. Tokyo. Wayne's Good still here. Good morning, Wayne. Thank you so much for uh, keeping us company. Great to have you on the show. Uh, Rigoberto, let us know how we, how we go with the number of likes. Fiji calling up. Yeah, good day. Oh, oh, Murphy, still with us. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for. We got another princess in down too from Singapore Airlines. Uh, joining us today. Ten minutes away. And then New Zealand 145 in the All Blacks livery, 30 minutes away. 38,000 feet cruising across. Uh, John and Annette still watching. Andrew from Tassie. Jive Turkeys. Oh, he's back. Here. 
<laughs> he went to grab a drink. Yeah, he went uh, to <laughs> grab a coffee. Uh, John Vogel, hello, welcome. John Vogel, good day. Okay, so velocity 175 down here going uh, over to Nandy, the max. Taking off down there the full length of 1.9 left. Maybe videos uh, is saying apologies if already discussed, but see there's a Hawaiian Airline 787 due into Brisbane on the 5th of April. Yeah, it's still uncertain of the time, so I know some people are talking about a 2 o'clock arrival, but last I heard it's still Yeah, so it hasn't been confirmed still, yeah. Uh, subject change. Um, uh, Derek is with us as well. Hey, Derek. A happy Easter from the sunny mountains of Western North Carolina. Very nice. A very talented musician, Derek. 921, roll through and vacate at Alpha 9, wind 150 degrees, 13 knots, runway 19 left, clear to land. Runway 19 left, clear to land, CG 9. Gary, one of our amazing mods, is just saying you should have done a dance, Gavin. <laughs> 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 Oh, I think Julia will lose all her subscribers if I did that. <laughs> I'll be fired. Uh, yeah, look, when it comes to dancing, Gavin is he refuses <laughs> to. I got two left do feet. Anything. He's now the greatest dancer. You will never make it to um, Dancing with the Stars, Gavin. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, there goes my hopes and dreams. <laughs> Stick to my day job. Just unknown heavy Brisbane Tower. Tri-Star Darren, another one of our amazing mods, saying, yes, on your mate, Gavin, you're a good sport. <laughs> Just uh, tuned in. Hello, welcome, welcome to Julia Flights. My name is Julia. We've got Gavin be behind the camera, and we also have Dolly, one of our first class members here on uh, Julia the Flights, uh, co-hosting <laughs> the show with us, and uh, and Nick is somewhere uh, around as well. Bunny is. Here on Easter Sunday. So Fiji coming on in. Uh, capturing the morning rush here at Brisbane Airport. Sky not, not looking very nice towards the north. So one just departed for Nandy and then one arriving from Nandy. Uh, Jill Williams, hello. Our viewer from the UK. Welcome to the show, Jill. And uh, Steve Jive Turkey saying, put them on, Gavin. <laughs> Referring to, to the rabbit ears. Gavin up. You need your behind the scenes camera, don't you? Doing your behind the scenes camera? Oh yeah, we, we could do that. And we've got a super chat from uh, Plain Pete. Pete, 66. Pete. Pete. Uh, Hawaiian 787 is a special visit subject to change. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Those things always are, aren't they? Thank you so much, Pete. Amazing support. Hopefully we'll be out here to see something. Very special, right guys? Hawaiian coming in. Can't wait. Thank you for tuning in, Julian. 
Now we'll catch you on the next stream. Oh yes, Julian. A great moderator. Can't miss Jet Star on the other side, sorry. From Germany. Gute Nacht, Julian. Gute Nacht. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, see you next time. Jive Turkey, Buller. Yeah, Buller, yes, a good old Buller. That's right. Goes all the way to Tokyo. And we've got a super chat from Big L I O One. Happy Easter, Julia flights. The most chilled YouTube AV stream. <laughs> I like that. I yeah. like that. A very generous super chat, by the way. Yeah, very generous. Thank you. Incredibly generous. That's that's amazing support. Thank you so much. Thanks. The most chilled. Uh, Very nice, thanks. <laughs> YouTube's. Um, Is that meant to be an L1011? The big L1011? Amazing, yep. We love that. That's, yeah, that's, that's great. That's very kind. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for keeping us company. <laughs> we love your company here. <laughs> Try star, Darren. Uh, ouch, Ju Julia. Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> bet you had a rug with the best of the mate. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> For your dancing moves. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need, a, I need a few sherbets if you know what I mean to, for that to happen. <laughs> Catch me in holiday mode. <laughs> Lloyd Fox is still with us. Lloyd, thank you so Lloyd. much. Hi, Lloyd. For keeping us company, Lloyd. Uh, we can't wait to have you back with us. We're missing you here, Lloyd. Jill Will uh, Williams tuning in from North Carolina. Ah, Jill, I thought you were in the UK. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. Sorry for the confusion. Welcome once again, Jill. We love your company here on the show. Uh, Tom is saying Julian Gavin rocking the live stream. Hello from the past here in the UK, uh, US. Uh, thank you so much, Tom. Who's, who's with us? Who's with us? Hello. Jive Turkey. Hello. Hello. You're here. I am here. You're hiding behind me. I was. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> all the regular viewers here at Julia Flights. You know Jive, Jive Turkey. Yes, I think we've chatted in the chat. We have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's nice to finally meet. To yeah. meet in person, right? Isn't yeah. It? It's great. Sort of come out and spread the Easter cheer and see Gavin in his bunny suit, but that hasn't eventuated. Yeah, we got a bit ripped off on that. I know. We? Yep. <laughs> it's the A330 Korean will be back tomorrow. No more dream Heading 404 Delta, bridge to zero, sun heading right 270, runway 1 on the right, clear to take off. Sun heading right 270, runway 1 on the right, clear to take off. It's definitely a lot cooler than the last time I remember being out here. <laughs> yeah, well, we went down at the loop on Friday, it was really warm. Mm. It was very warm, yep. I got sunburned. That's um, Brisbane weather for you. Yeah, yeah it's really warm. Beautiful day. Um, we started a stream with an amazing sunrise. Absolutely gorgeous. Good morning, Jessa, 834. Ready. Uh, James down. Martin saying, uh, Bula Bula just saw um, Fiji land at the loop. Very nice, James. Hope you enjoy the loop. Naughty, hello from Costa Rica. Oh, nice. Welcome. Lloyd Fox says, Morning to Drive Turkey. Hello, Lloyd. How are you? <laughs> it's good to, good to, well, not see you, but it's good to say hello. 
maybe Lloyd can answer the question. I wonder how long it'll be before That's the second, Alliance yeah. E-Jets get rid of all the Fockers. Gavin saying that we've got our front camera going. Should, should, should we guys give everyone a wave? Hello, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome to Julia Flights. Thank you for watching us. It's myself, Julia. Um, Jive Turkey, uh, give us a wave. We've got Bo and we've got Nick here. Uh, Gavin is behind the camera. Thank you guys. And for he does have the bunny ears back on. <laughs> he does. He does, he does. <laughs> Gavin. Well, it's 93, runway 19 left. Line so up. is that the closest we get oh, to the full bunny line suit? Line <laughs> That's it? That's it. Okay. <laughs> uh, guys, we uh, let's take it gradually, slowly, okay? It's already been a massive progress for Gavin happens, to be wearing those bunny ears. Thank you guys. Enjoy the show. Or airlines Airbus. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's have a look at a uh, Singapore uh, Princess A350. Singapore 255 vacated Alpha 7, contact ground on 122-125. Okay, Alpha 7, ground 122-125, Singapore 255 vacated. Alpha 7, ground 122-125, Singapore 255 vacated. Alpha 7, ground 125 vacated. Alpha 7, ground Air Canada Dreamliner coming out to say hello. Velocity uh, 319. 319, Brisbane Town. Honest 1933, runway 19 left. Clip takeoff. So, Steve, Drive Turkey, tell us how much you love the Fockers. Well, I just asked the question. Uh, I, I thought Lloyd might be able to help us. I wonder how long it's going to be before Alliance actually replaced them with the E-Jets. Uh, I just got word this morning that they're not. Oh, they're not? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, I think it's about five years. Okay. Um, yeah. So it'll be like a gradual reduction? Then. I'd imagine so, yeah. Have you been in an E-Jet yet? For an Alliance, no. Uh, been in a Virgin Australia, yeah, Virgin Blue Egypt. Yep. But not Alliance. Shit. I was actually lucky, sorry. Sorry, you, you go ahead, uh, Bo. Sorry, uh, just a shout out to O'Malley's, just upgraded their membership to the Captain's Lounge. Oh, welcome, O'Malley. Captain Ben hanging out there. That's great. He'll give you a nice welcome. Good coffee in the Captain's Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Velocity 322, runway 19 left, line up. Yeah, Steve, I was just going to say, I was actually lucky enough to do a jump seat ride in a Virgin Blue um, E-190 from Harvey Bay to Sydney. That would have been great. Yeah, it's actually a good experience. Many years ago before um, you know, the change of all the security and everything, I was like, fortunate enough to do a couple of jump seats. One was in a 767. Oh, beautiful. And that was into Townsville, so... Oh, from yeah. Brisbane? Or? Yeah, from oh, Brisbane wow. Was what year was that? Anset, that would have been oh, oh. in the mid-90s. So that was 767 200. Yeah. Um, oh, man. And I also was lucky to do one in a 727. Oh. <laughs> so it was that was to Sydney. Oh. So that was, uh, yeah, but that was long before uh, all the World Trade Centre stuff yeah. and security doors. And, Velocity zero, uh, shout out to Dan Ready? Metcalf. Welcome to the Cloud Lounge. Cloud Lounge, yes. If truth be told, Gavin, I actually do like the Fockers. I'm just, uh, <laughs> just, I'm just, I don't know. Every time I seem to fly Virgin, I, the flight before and the flight after is a 737-800, but they wheel out a Fokker 100 or a 70 and plonk it in front of where I'm boarding. So yeah. There's something about them, they're so, you know, rare that you won't see them in any other parts of the world, so. No. 
I think I mentioned to you once before, they, they do take you back to a time back when the old DC-9s were flying. And yeah, with those rear-mounted engines, you know, there's, yeah. and once that's gone, that's, that you won't see that anymore. No. There'll be nothing in the skies anymore with those rear-mounted engines, so... Aussie 319, uh, Pelicans have been reported in Joshua the, uh, Roberts. Six Europe. months in the oh, captain's lounge. Joshua Roberts, left, yes. Uh, unsighted from the Happy tower. Easter to you, uh, mate. Piers, uh, we've just spotted him though. Piers, you've got lots of Easter eggs. Easter bunny was crossed. Uh, winds yes. 140 degrees, 7 knots. What an amazing six left. months for the yeah, epic community, yes. It's it's been been yeah, thanks, Josh. Yes. Josh has been with us for a long time. I'm pretty sure even before we had the memberships, he was there watching, so. Thanks, Josh. So I think ATC is reporting some birds. Can't see anything there with our own eyes. So the seventh, so Ansett, 767 to Townsville. Mm. Whoa. Showing, showing my age a bit there, aren't I? But it's hard to believe that. Right, we used to see so many 767 movements here. Yep. With Qantas and Ansett. It's a different time. I mean, they even had the old BAE 146s. And yep. Yeah, there, was, there was so many different aircraft, but they all just... Well, they're gone Air now, sadly. 36 runway 19 left, line up. I don't know if they're still flying in Western Australia, but for a long time there was still a lot of the BAEs over there. Um, but I think they gradually got phased out. Yeah, passenger-wise, yeah, I don't think there's any more in Australia. We've only got the freighter ones. And the performance of those uh, 767-200s would have been insane on takeoff. Oh, yeah. Especially if you fly up the towns, where you've been up like a rocket. Yep. <laughs> contact departure, there. And really it was Qantas they were the last ones to have the 767 weren't they? They, they gradually phased those out as well. Yes, yeah, they had the 767 300s, and they had the 200s as well didn't they? So. Mm. Uh, just a shout out to Jamie Walker, thank you bro, thank you for watching the stream. Jamie's actually at work at the moment. He's um, helping board Qantas Link flight uh, oh. Bay 16. Is he down here, is he? Yeah, yeah. So is that the Embraer? Yeah. One of these tails down here. Not too sure which one it is, but he said Bay 16, so think, if we can find that one. I think Bay 16 is that first one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Bay yeah, 16. Yeah, there you there, go, that's so, it there. So here yeah. you that tail on the left. And shout out to Shawnee Grieve as well. Um, his daughter. Sorry if I mispronounce this. Mary loves watching this. She really enjoys colouring pictures of the planes she sees on here. That's so great. I, lo I used to do that as well when I was a kid. I loved drawing pictures of planes and colouring them in. Where I learnt to draw, I think. <laughs> was so drawing he, planes. Yeah, it's Air Canada. You got that wing flex there, Nick. Yeah, it's quite noticeable, isn't it? Especially on TV, like watching the stream. On rotation there. So where's that off to? Vancouver? Vancouver, that yep. one? Yep. yep. Long flight across the Pacific. All water, isn't it? Yeah. So Steve, yeah, we got Nick there. He's um, he's actually uh, a pilot. He's got his commercial license yeah, and everything. Of, he's kind of he um, graduated from the Qantas Cadet Ship School out there at World Camp. Well, degrees. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I like that term. <laughs> So there's a lot of larger movements out there, like the Cathay Pacific. Yeah, that's yeah. all freight work, though, isn't it? Yeah, you know, so it comes up. Okay. Yeah. Lots of um, lots, uh, lots of Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Saabs. No, they don't fly the, the jets in there as much, yeah. Okay. 
it's interesting how they've sort of bypassed here, where literally you can see the port from here, yeah. and they go to Toowoomba. I think there uh, must be some company Okay. Well, that makes sense to a degree. But it doesn't help us people who like to see aeroplanes. It doesn't help us people who like to see aeroplanes. Yeah, Cathay, bring the 74 here. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Got a oh, super chat. Steve. Uh oh. Sorry. No, sorry, Gavin. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> super chat from uh, Landis. Thank you. Very generous. Autumn greetings to Julia oh, and Paul. Thank you so much, Landis. Thanks for joining us here today. Hope you're enjoying the show. We love your company here on, um, on Julia Flights. Thank you so much for your very generous donation, Landis. Hope you're doing well. That's very, very kind. Thank you. One thing I will say about the Fox is you can hear them before you can see them. Oh yeah, that's what I always say. It's almost like they're whistling for attention. Mrs. H says hi from Scotland. She's just found um, the Julia Flights channel. Oh, very Enjoying nice. Chat. Thank you, Mrs. H. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to uh, Julia Flights. Welcome to Brisbane, Australia. Great to have you with us. Velocity 938, runway 19 left, line up. Quadra 737 landing here. Runway 19 left, line up. Uh, Raina Taylor still with us, watching us from Texas. Thank you, Raina, for for keeping us company. Morning, Rocky Top. Rocky Top, that Embers in town. Runway 19 left, let's take off. Runway 19 left, let's take off. Want us. Seven three seven eight. We've got the Royal Flying Doctors moving again over. And Terry C is on the way to the domestic terminal. We'll see you. We'll see you very soon, Terry. Paul Murphy just saying, did the Concorde land at Brisbane? I think it did it, once as an yeah. emergency landing or yeah. something, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, John Vogel saying, Gavin, when I come up, come up next, I will bring you a Captain Fokker hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Hill, absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do they actually have a lot of Fokker gear available? I think Dean, Dean Stocker, uh, one of our moderators here at Julia Flights, he, he got some uh, Fokker merch on, online. <laughs> some, some stickers, some, some t-shirts. I'm surprised Gavin doesn't have a cupboard full. I know, he actually, he, he really wants me to create a new design for a Julia, a Julia Flights um, online store. I'm still hopeful that you come out with the, the phones, the pluggers. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely on my list. We're um, talking about the online store, so I still hope she comes out with the, the phone, the Julia Flights phones. <laughs> I think that'll be a, and, and there you go, that even for your job at Rex, I think that'd be a great, <laughs> a great push for the Rex Flights. An add-on. <laughs> you see, Gavin, we, there's nothing Got more you Australian than that. There's a bit more movement here now. So where's the Fokker off to? Landis just gifted one Julia Flights 
uh, membership. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Landers. So great to have you with us on the show. That's very, very kind. Thank you, Landis. And it goes straight to Jill Williams. Congratulations. Williams Town. Jill. Amazing. Good morning, sun heading right 270, runway 18. Good on you, Landis. Thank you. Our friend Landis from the US. Looking after us. Thanks for that. Yes, we've got the All Black Slippery, guys. Get ready. Get ready for that 777 All Black Slippery coming in. Four minutes out. Wow. Can't wait. Rena's just asked, has the Delta Airlines flight started its journey yet to Brisbane? That's not till later in the Yeah, year. I think it's November. Or October. The Delta flights, when do they start? October. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Delta and American, they either start in October or December. I don't know which way about, but it's around about the end of the year, Christmas time, that they'll start arriving. I don't know who gets the honours of coming first, so... There we go. Uh, Delta start, uh, starting in December 4. Virgin 737. 0412, connect to Pokemon. Touching down. 0412. Runway 19 left, line up. Line up, runway 19 left, Oh, yes, I got, apparently I've got a, a new full time gig at Rex. I'm happy with that. <laughs> the catering. Catering. What, head of catering? Yeah, head of catering. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Organising the pies and the beer and. <laughs> I like the local beer in here in Brisbane. I don't, I don't know if I want to say the name. I might upset someone. Yeah. But a lot of people don't like it. And you don't want to isolate yourself <laughs> with potential, <laughs> potential sponsorship. So. Velocity 1102, runway 19 left, clip takeoff. So that's a Velocity 1102, Fokker 100 gun down to Newcastle. So Nick's actually on the camera at the moment. So Just watching doing a good job. the fire truck out here squirting water. Yeah, they seem to come out here on the weekend and flex their muscles. Might not right. Might have a veggie no, garden no, over no. there they're watering. <laughs> so the F one hundred rolling now. Star Darren's just saying that uh, the All Blacks Triple Seven uh, is on approach. Yeah, just coming in. He's uh. Well, see, Duncan Watkinson. Um, there you go. He's speaking my language. He knows. Oh, what yeah. He knows yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. <laughs> well, Duncan, I hope you're having a couple. <laughs> Like, like, honestly speaking, it's been a while since, yeah, I, I rarely drink anyway, so it's been a while. But I, I do enjoy the local. Yeah. Local produce. Yeah, local produce. Support the locals. Absolutely. you got you got to keep the locals in business. I'll see you 1102, contact the party. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. you got the All Blacks. He's out here. Right. Right. He sort of won't come into view though until like past the camera, that's the only problem there. Yeah. Paul Murphy's just asking where the closest golf course is to the airport. Well right Nudgy. behind us, isn't it? That, yeah, uh, Nudgy. Nudgy, yeah. Right behind us. There you go. I, I think it's the 11th hole, you get a quite a good a view of the aircraft mm -hmm. taking off from the, the new oh, runway. Oh, you do, do you? Okay. 
I'm not very good at golf myself. No. <laughs> it's it's yeah. It, it's more one of those events where it's more about um, the local product and. <laughs> <laughs> the more I consume, the better I play. I, think. But I don't mind getting in the driving range and whacking a few balls. That's I always find that fun. So they're into a fair head. That triple looks like it's just hanging there, doesn't it? Yeah, what's the um Yeah, 137 knots ground speed um, showing on flight radar 24, so Well now right there for take off on a setting to see. So it's a slight crosswind from the left. Yep. So here comes the yeah, New Zealand, the All Blacks. So are we rating the landing? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Style, points, <laughs> flair, wheelie. nose up there a little bit. What do you think, Gavin? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to say a nine. I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll give it a nine. Yeah, I, I think I'll go a nine and a half. I'll give him a half a point for the extra, extra nose wheel staying up for a bit. Yeah, what do we got? Here <laughs> we go for the triple seven. Uh, Gary with a nine out of ten. Gary's the first one in there. <laughs> Good morning, Evan 20. Evan 20, Brisbane Oh, no, <laughs> David with a 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> the big prince. I'd give it a 9, I think. A 9 for you? Nine. Yep. I think everyone loves the triple seven, though, don't they? They do, they do. Yep. It is an impressive machine. I remember the my first trip on one. It was from here to Singapore. Trophies and information here. I didn't realise how long they were, and I was in the very back row. You just keep walking and walking. Ordered here at Brisbane, and I thought I was going to end up across the river by the time I got to my seat. I couldn't believe how long it was. Yep. Actually, it's got to check out battery. Well, we've got nine, consistent nine and a half. On a 19, 25, can't add barges. They're pretty good scores. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're just going to do a quick battery change, so we'll lose audio for about 30 seconds. So just stand by. We'll still have picture, but just the audio will drop out. Won't be long.
Oldie is back. We're back. We're back, very nice. Beautiful. Old black livery, triple seven. Arrived from Auckland. No, agree, Gary. I think uh, next emoji might be uh, in New Zealand. Yeah, Gary absolutely loves this um, old black triple seven. Been so lucky to have it on the show today. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to go on the all black livery triple seven. Oh really? Yeah, back in 2018. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Great. Did you take some photos? <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> of course. Of course you did. I was very surprised to turn up and get downstairs and seeing the all black one there. So yeah, very special. Very nice. Very nice. And New Zealand holds a special spot for me. It was my first overseas flight, and oh wow, um, it was on a 737 in New Zealand, and they invited us up into the cockpit back then. Yeah, yeah. So that was quite good, and they let us hand out lollies to the other passengers as kids. So yeah, my only Air New Zealand flight was from Los Angeles to Brisbane. Yep, and it was via Auckland. And when we left Los Angeles, I think. Plane, they had too many people on the plane, it was that full. And then when we stopped in Auckland and then returned from Auckland to Brisbane, I think there was about 30 people on the plane. That was a 747. Wow. So, it, and that was back in the days when their, their livery was actually green, green and white. Green and white? Yeah. Or the blue, the aqua colour. Was that with the stripes or? Uh, the tail, from memory, the tail had the aqua colour with the, the white logo. Okay. Yep. Um, they, did, they, they didn't have the black. And we've got Solomon Airlines guys just landed. Coming in from Port Vila. Have you been to Port Vila? Beautiful place. I've gone by a cruise ship. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, very yeah. nice snow. Yeah. I've never been there. Some beautiful snorkeling out there. It is, yeah. Funny story, the Solomon Islands plane, it brings back memories as well. I think it was my very first flight. Was booked, well it was booked as a Qantas flight to Sydney. Um, and back then it was um, mystery flights, I think they okay, did. So yeah, mum, and, yeah. mum and dad booked that for us to go on. And as a kid, I was busting to get on the Qantas plane. Yeah. I wanted to go on the kangaroo plane, and we got to the airport, and there's the Solomon Islands one waiting, so it must have been like on a charter well, <laughs> thing. And I think Qantas must have done that a bit, because went to Sydney one day. Sorry? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. And, uh, yeah, a relative was flying to Sydney and came out, was going Qantas, and when yep. she boarded the plane, it was the Solomon's jet. And she was panicking. She thought, I'm not going overseas. Yeah. No, no, no. I think they're just letting, using their aircraft. So. Yeah, mum, mum, I remember mum saying to me, oh, don't worry, you'll get the Qantas plane back. No, we were back on the Solomons on the way back. <laughs> so it was just doing runs Brisbane to Sydney all day. And Lloyd is saying bye, uh, bye from, uh, for this week from me. Uh, thank you, Lloyd, for keeping us company for most of Hi, today's Lloyd. show. Have a good week. Yeah, enjoy the rest you, of your uh, long Easter weekend, Lloyd. Stay safe. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you, Lloyd. You're a legend, mate. Absolute legend. A number one plane spotter here at Brisbane Airport. Yeah, Lloyd's got some great photos on his Flickr page. Yeah, plane spotting for over 60 years, guys. 60 years of plane spotting. Thank you, Lloyd. And Land is saying my first view of Solomon's. Exactly. Um, might be very exotic for many of our viewers watching us from overseas. Solomon's aircraft reminds me a little bit of the old Ansett. It does, yeah. They have the stars on the tail. Yep. 
And please guys don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the show and if you are new here uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, to help us grow. Quick shout out to all our mods, thank you. Yeah. Doing a fantastic job as always. Yeah, let's, let's have a look at that uh, freight. Freighter coming into port. A few Amazon parcels on there. So it must be a bit of rain out there in the bay. You can hardly make out Morton Island. There's not too many ships in, in port today at all, surprising. It's really quiet. Yeah, no cruise ship. <laughs> no cruise ship. <laughs> I, think, well, I think the cruise ship would have left yesterday. Yeah, I think there was one on a Saturday. Yeah, normally Pacific Encounters are Saturday and um, Carnival Luminosa has been coming in on Sundays. So. Okay, might come in this afternoon. Yeah, she might be on a longer cruise maybe. But some of the, those cruise liners are just about finished their, their season, so some of them will scoot back off to the head north. Yeah, Northern Hemisphere, so... Rigoberto saying China Airlines 20 minutes away. Dynasty, the A350. Oh, Kelly Owen's still there too. Kelly's probably my my favourite. She's there with the Fockers in Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve, you might actually, you might get on a flight with her one day. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say hello. Well, I'll, I'll have to behave myself on that flight then. <laughs> Make sure I only take my um, my reading material off the flight before you go. <laughs> United's coming on out. Seven eight back to San Francisco. We're, we're starting to get a bit of a club day, Gavin, because Veronica seems to be on my team. <laughs> team Fokker or Team Knocker? <laughs> Hello to David R from Winnipeg in Canada. Sounds cold. It does. <laughs> Very cold. <laughs> Is that the United Dreamliner coming out? That's the one. They watch your. Uh, they watch their landings on your live stream. Maybe they'll come up and visit one day. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Throw an invitation out. I think Jeff Andrews back there too in the chat. He's. Uh, uh, he was saying that uh, he passed on the. Old, did you see the landing the other morning? Was it Friday morning? Where they kept the nose wheel up. Yep, yep. Pretty much yeah, the whole way down the runway. So he passed that uh, that forty John. One degree, David saying oh, in Winnipeg. There you go, yeah. I'm shivering for you. <laughs> Too cold for me, that's for sure. And they're coming into their summer. Yeah. Wow. So how long do you think it will be before we see a 777X in Australia? <laughs> they can't even get one out of the factory, can they? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it seems the uh, the max version of everything was a good idea at the time, but yep. <laughs> anything they label max seems to become a problem. I read recently that Virgin may not even be getting their, their Max 10s anymore. They may be going to sticking with the Max 8s. Okay. Let's Hello to John M. 
Got a feel for Boeing though, don't you? Like, oh. They were the the glamour builder of aircraft for such a long time, and yeah, now it's it's a completely different story, isn't it? Airbus is now the, the yeah. king, I think. Oh, we got a Dash 8 finally. Yeah, I feel like um, Airbus just come out with that Neo and then just that struck Boeing on the head and mm. Boeing just tried to play catch up and it just hasn't worked. No. It's it's interesting to see all through Europe how you know how many Neos are being uh, oh, taken on by all the airlines. Virtually, they, that's all they fly over there. They don't. There aren't many Boeing's. Yeah, it is a shame, isn't it? Especially when you go back and start a 707s and things like that, and it just took off. And so hopefully they get back, back even to the glory days. Even back to the old DC-8s. And yeah, there was always a mixture of aircraft, but now it all just seems to be heading in one direction. O'Malley is just saying in the chat the 777X is mainly a GE engine issue. Okay. I think uh, Emirates still taking their deliveries for them anyway. They were the, the main customer, weren't they? Yep. But no, I hope they uh, come out of it okay, Boeing, because you know, we don't want anything nasty to happen to them. Well, for a long time. Oh, where's he going? He's taking the left down Yankee. He's going on the, yeah. the right side. Taking the scenic room back home yep. to San Francisco. <laughs> well, for a long time, airlines like Singapore Airlines, Boeing was their, that was their go-to. That, that's all they had, really. With their 747s and their 777. But now they're predominantly Airbus, aren't they? Yeah, Singapore actually have the Maxes as well, the Max 8s. It's always quite unusual when you fly through Changi yep. and you see like a small 737 Max in Singapore colours, isn't it? Because <laughs> you're just used to seeing it on a big aeroplane. An A380. Yeah. Or... I, I guess that's probably the same for our viewers watching overseas when they see a, a, a Qantas link down here on Dash 8. <laughs> They're used to seeing it on the uh, 787s or A380s. Suddenly it's squashed down onto an Embraer. <laughs> Speaking of small aeroplanes, Baby 737. It's a 700, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like it's been cut in half and glued back together. Is that one Bravo Yankee? No, it's Victor Baza Zulu. Just even when you're in Sydney, the Dash, they have a lot of the Dash 8 100s. Yeah, and they fly them out to Lord Howe Island. Okay. It was funny to see them on that stream because even though they used to come into Brisbane, it's been such a long time. We're so used to these longer versions. Yeah, we just see the Q400s now, don't we? So mm. Not even the 300s we see here anymore. Mm. Oh, actually, I, f I forget Skytrans. We see the... Um, yeah, Skytrans the only operator, isn't the the Dash 8 100 here into Brisbane. And there's Rex full of meat pies and local beers. <laughs> <laughs> local produce. Yes. Nothing fancy, just it is what it is. Oh, that's it. That's the attraction. I think we need to come up with an acronym what REC stands for though. <laughs> Rather than Regional Express. <laughs> I was going to say really excellent experience. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Copyright X. it. <laughs> Copyright it and sell it to them. They 
is parking on one of the remote stands. Yeah, Brisbane 777, that Victor Bravo Zulu and Victor Bravo Yankee, they were the ones, they're the original ones from Virgin. As far as I know, the other ones, they have a XKLM. Interesting cloud sort of forming out here now, more rain sort of. We should say clear, be clear of that. United's taking the scenic route. He's out there basically in Moreton Bay. He's maybe going to chuck a line in. <laughs> Fresh meals. I've never had to take off from that runway when I've flown from Brisbane before. It's always been this old legacy. Well, one. It does look long, but it's not that. It doesn't take too long, to be honest, you know, compared to some airports around the world. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Any flying coming up for you? Um, well, I think I might go up next weekend just for a little flight, go over Morton Island. I might have to Australia as bum well. a ride with you. I'll, I'll go halves with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds good. We can do that. that. Then that can be legal too, couldn't it? Because you, you've got your appropriate licences. So. I do, I have a commercial licence. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't make you pay for all of it because then that's illegal. <laughs> but um, I have to pay half legally. <laughs> that's fine by me. It always helps, doesn't it? Because being so expensive, you need that bit of help. It's very expensive. Um, I don't know about other countries, but definitely in Australia, uh, it's unreachable for a lot of people, unfortunately. It um, is, and that's the honest truth too, isn't it? Like, yeah. it's, that's why you've got to do your best you can at school and maybe try to get the Air Force. Yeah. They'll pay for it all. Yeah, well, the way I did mine is I got the, um, the government um, VSL loan. So, like that, what they do for university and stuff, where you... Um, they give you the money, but you have to pay it back once you start working. It's a good way of doing it if you can get into one of those programs. United now rolling. Very heavy there, as you expect. So we've got another three 
30 coming on out. Wind has definitely started to pick up here. <laughs> yes. I checked the uh, Metar before, it's now 150 at 12 knots with a max crosswind of 12 knots. It might be a bit of a struggle. Such a, it's not a heavy crosswind, but it's definitely not a light crosswind. So this one, the A33200 off to Narita. Okay. Yeah, yeah they'll but I was just, we had a comment a uh, question before from Trista Down it was you might know Nick since you you got family that work down there. Do you know what goes on, on top of that the satellite terminal there? Those glass windows? Yeah that's um I've actually been in there before. Oh. It's uh Qantas Link, that's their little area. It's uh oh, okay. administration uh operations center is in there for Brisbane Airport at least. Oh there you go. And so occasionally my brother will be in there as well. Not too sure what he does, but <laughs> working hard. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> no, they all work hard down there at Qantas. Because I know sometimes when we're up here at night time, you can look in there and actually see inside. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, it's like a um, mini air traffic control tower, but just for. It's got a nice view over there, doesn't it? The yeah. Dash eight sort of apron. Definitely. I'll have to get um, Jamie up here one day so I can talk yeah, to you all about all that, what goes on down at the corner sneak. Yeah, area. welcome anytime. Hello to David Holder. Happy Easter to you as well, mate. Uh, Paul Murphy was just asking how many active runways there were. I think Gary's got onto it. There's two, and a yeah. smaller one's not active at the moment. Well, that um, yeah. So we got the two parallels, and um, you got the old decommissioned runway out here with that ATR is at the back there, sitting on. That used to be runway one four and runway three two. That was about 1600, 1700 meters long, I think, from the it's memory. Pretty short. Yeah. yeah. So you used to see. Very rarely you saw 737s on there, and A320s. That was where they parked all the uh, Virgin 737s during COVID. During COVID times, yep. Yeah. Hello to Yin Cathay Spotter. G'day Yin. And hello to Plane Spotting Australia. Plane Spotting Australia. Uh, the power bloke is saying, is that area you're in now to available to the public. Yes, we're actually up in the domestic uh, terminal car park. That's what I was saying before, Nick, that if uh, Qantas Link are open to it, you can put a balcony on top there. And <laughs> 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 Perfect spot. It would be. I don't know how open they are to that. <laughs> That's something I'm very jealous of about other airports around the world. Um, is the, the viewing platforms available. Uh, at Brisbane here we've got the car park in the loop. There's a few other little spots around but there's nothing really dedicated that has a really good view. Nothing that you can see on the ground anyway, isn't it? It's either here or the loop but yeah. there's off airport areas sort of other places where you can see the approach and departures but that's where it sort of ends. Yeah. Uh, 
There's that one over in um, Tokyo where you get to stand on top of it. Oh, is that Haneda? I think so, yeah. That's a good spot to view it. Rizni Triple Seven is just saying Asiana's directly overhead. Oh, oh. is that an A380? Is it is going back to Seoul? I think even if we we're down at the loop, we'd have had no chance of seeing it. Nah, not today. Not this clear cover. So I'm just looking at the TAF right now. Um, between t uh, 10 local time and 11 local time, it's becoming showers and light rain. So we're expecting a little bit of weather coming within the next 10, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, you can see it sort of <laughs> sneak into the... Yeah. Taxi as well. Seems to be a lot of heavies going over that side now. Yeah, it's it's a bit. Sometimes United and Canada take off this way, which we saw United earlier, obviously. I think it all de depends on their sort of routing. If it's more of a northerly, even though United's going east, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it's probably more of a northerly departure. Hello to Marlene Joy, um, she's from Virginia. Oh, g'day. Getting late over there. Thanks for joining us. And it looks like it's an A350 Brisney 777 saying... Oh yes, on final. Dynasty. China Airlines? Uh, he's talking about the Asiana overhead. Oh, okay, sorry. Yep. Dynasty looks like it's on there on the, on the left side. Um, should sneak in before this departure. And Gary's saying there's a helicopter inbound Ooh, above. Maybe 533. China Airlines A350 900. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, a little R44 uh, snuck over the top. <laughs> Maybe we can uh, use you, Nick, and do some flyers of the control zone here and get some snaps over the top. It's possible, very possible. Pop open the window. <laughs> Depends how kind the uh, air traffic control is to us on the day. We'll have to tee up a day when Veronica's on. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Okay, so we've got the A350 China Airlines. Members hit that A350 emoji. Nice delivery too on the A350. Oops, yeah, he's on the roll over here, the 330. It'll be nice when we have 
Qantas liveries on those A350s. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I really hope they do a, a retro livery or some sort of special livery. I'm sure they will do a special livery of some kind. Yeah. You're not a fan of the green A220, are you, Nick? Uh, no, not, not particularly. <laughs> Hello, yeah, it's already adopted the uh, the broccoli nickname, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, it has. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> hello to Farid and hello to Mark from the UK. So China Airlines rolling all the way through to the end. Our blokes just come in to say, love your work guys, so good, have to get down there more often. Yeah, cut one out. Thank you mate. And good night to Paul Murphy, he's off to bed. Good night Paul, thanks for dropping in. We've got Cameron R tuning in from Adelaide, hello. Kevin R? No, Cameron, yes. Yeah, oh sorry, sorry Cameron. Ke Cameron. Yep. Always got to laugh at some of the screen names. <laughs> <laughs> it makes mine look just boring, doesn't it? Just a plain old name. There's one we have cooking without a clue. I haven't <laughs> seen him from that one for a while. That's how I cook. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> don't worry about the instructions. Just yeah, it looks I, good. I, I don't cook. I eat. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of subway. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of subway. <laughs> Sky Team livery there, the China Eastern. Almost reminds you of the um, Aeroflot livery there. It actually, yeah, now that you say that, I'm going to be thinking about that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> it really does, yeah. The power bloke's just asking if uh, you're going to be here tomorrow, Gavin? Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not really too sure about that one, sorry. We flew um, Aeroflot once. It was an A320. Yeah. Going through Moscow Airport, and I, that's the only time, like nothing I'd, nothing against them or the airline or anything, but it's the only sort of time where I felt a bit uneasy because we'll just rush through security. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, no, but a great, great experience. Um, yeah, just rush through security. Nothing really like checked. Right. Yeah. I think the highest, uh, uh, highest security airport in the world is the one in is Israel. Is it? Yeah, you might be right there. Yeah. That's where they have the um, security ranking system. They judge you on everything. What you're wearing, what you look like. If you're rating on how dangerous. You are. They have air marshals on board too, don't they? I yeah. suppose a lot of airlines do, we just don't know. Well, they've got missile um, defense systems in those. I was going to say, well. yeah. Make things interesting. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. The pilots would have to be specially trained on how to operate them as well. Basically military pilots. Be interesting to see how well they work. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they've had to use them before, or very rarely anyway. One of our wonderful mods, TriStar Darren, he's off to bed by the look of it. Thanks Darren, thank you for, yeah, always your amazing help, thanks mate. Thanks Darren.
always a good stream with Darren around. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> trying to reach them. Might get you confused again. <laughs> they call it an F-18. <laughs> <laughs> Same colour as well. Yeah, it would definitely blend into the sky, wouldn't it? Well, that's why they paint them those colours, so they do blend in. Jet Star would blend in too on a cloudy day. We're quite lucky here with China Eastern, they do have a, a few special liveries. There's one airline you can count on. Send something special in. Qantas have a few floating around too. Is that all the, the retro ones? The yeah, I haven't seen a retro ones. today. You haven't seen one today? Not today, no. He's going to make that left turn as well. Thank you, Izzy. Yeah. You can see down here that's our loop, the spotted, spotting area here in Brisbane, so that's where we were on Friday. A few people down there at the moment. Be a good view of the 330. Yeah, I call that the catwalk. So yeah. <laughs> yep. Come on down there, all the people taking photos. It's become very popular as of late. I've seen a few more than usual. Well, yeah, we were there Friday and that place was packed. There was people parked all the way down here, like hundreds of meters away and walking up. Wow. Yeah, yeah right. I've never seen it that busy before. Yeah, surprisingly, for nothing really special to come in, it was really busy down there. Do you guys with that Qantas group get any opportunity with um, anything at Emirates at all? Or do That's you got to sort of work with Qantas first? Oh, um, yeah. no, it's just with the Qantas group. Just the Qantas first. group, yeah. yeah. If I wanted to go to Emirates later, I'd need to build up some experience and then go for another interview and convert my license over to European. But they'd look after all that though, wouldn't they, if you got a chance for that? Yeah, yeah. Just another few ATPL exams, which I <laughs> don't feel like doing at the moment, that's for sure. <laughs> They're definitely not the easiest exams in the world. How many are there? There's like, is it seven? Seven or? in Australia. I seven subjects, yep. Yeah. In uh, Europe, they've got almost 30. Um, really? Yeah, but most of their subjects are split up, so you've got four different exams for NAV instead of just one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so one's on like radio NAV, basic NAV, that kind of thing. Dan, uh, Metcalf, no, no more 717s here in Brisbane. They, um, you'll see them in Sydney, I believe, Melbourne, maybe the Gold Coast. Adelaide, maybe too. Canberra, I think. Canberra, yeah. Maybe Hobart. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, nothing here in Brisbane. 
been a little while since they've gone. So it yeah, just stuck with the Fockers, the rear mounted engines. More rain. Yes, <laughs> four drops of rain. I think we'll be alright. Brian Miller. Brian Miller, Mr. Miller, the hat. <laughs> Eight months in the captain's lounge. Whoa. Happy Easter from the hat guy. The hat guy. He's <laughs> got an amazing hat, look at that. It's like Crocodile Dundee hat. I was going to say that, yeah. Crocodile Dundee hat. That's as Aussie as it comes. <laughs> Funny, I walked into Coles with my Akubra hat on yesterday because <laughs> I was doing a bottle run to get rid of all the, the get the 10 cents bottles. And um, a lady just started laughing at me because I had the Cooper on. Got the boots on too? No. Probably, that's probably why it looked even weird because I had joggers on. Star Darren's still awake. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna to, uh, gonna to go to bed, mate. I had dedication there. Yeah, <laughs> Darren's awesome. Well, like seriously, our mods uh, are fantastic. Hello to Demi. Rob LHR wants the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I want it first. <laughs> Photo with the hat. It's like Captain Benny was up here the other day. He's, he had his hat up here. I, I stole. <laughs> he, he, he stole his hat, taking selfies with it. <laughs> it was so nice of him to come up here. He just flew in from Singapore, Singapore to Melbourne, and then he packed up Melbourne to Brisbane to come up and say hello. And <laughs> And he stayed with us like... for a good four hours he was here. Really nice guy, Ben. Philippines there lined up. Rakshaya, I hope I pronounced that uh, right. Tuning in from Nepal. Oh, wow. Hello to Kirsten Mills. Kirsten's there too. Yeah. Yeah. She's just got home. $1,250 US dollars for that hat. <laughs> this is expensive hat. <laughs> I hope that's got insurance. <laughs> I wouldn't even step outside with that on. No. <laughs> 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 China Eastern. Blending in out there with the colour of the water. <laughs> Doesn't look too great to be out there in the bay right there. <laughs> so you got your night rating too and all that? Yeah. Well, well I'm not night rated, I'm instrument rated, so I can fly at night. Is, that's how we works. seriously we gotta because I can't fly at night, so yeah. we gotta come up with your night because Julie hasn't seen the um Brisbane from night. It is Brisbane's quite nice at night time. Yeah, well, yeah. I haven't seen it at night. Oh, you haven't? Oh. No, because I did all my night flying just in the circuit out of Elkin. Oh, okay. Uh, and um, I saw Gold Coast at night, kind of. That's impressive too. 
kind of. It was um, <laughs> <laughs> very um, thunderstorm conditions. Oh, nice. Great. Couldn't see anything, but we're in the cloud 90% of the time. But no, I'd love to go up for a night flight around Brisbane. It's actually really yeah, special at night. Yeah. You'd have to go from Archerfield. So that gets you right up next to the city. There she goes, back to Shanghai. Mr. Vermin, welcome to the show. See you later. Uh, Darren, thank you, mate. He's off now. I don't think Gary's uh, coffee's kept him awake, though. <laughs>
We were muted there for some reason, sorry. <laughs> From one first class lounge member <laughs> to a brand new first class lounge member, welcome the power bloke. Thank you, mate. The power bloke, welcome. He's up the top there. We have to add his name. I think we well, let's give a shout out to our other members there while we're. Where are we? Um, oh, you got it over there. Yeah, while we're. There you go. So we'll we'll add the power bloke there. Have to make the live bit a bit smaller. It's, yeah, it's gonna. It's growing, isn't it? So I have to make some adjustments there. Yeah. <laughs> Honk for Julia. <laughs> yeah, Wayne, I w I'd wish Virgin would do a, a retro livery and bring, bring back Virgin Blue. Oh, yeah, that would be Actually, good. I do have a photo of Virgin that Blue. That was one Blue. of the first fights I remember oh, yeah. going on was Virgin Sorry, Blue. Gavin. Yeah. Brisbane to Cairns. Oh, nice. My first flight was actually yeah, Virgin Blue as well. Um, Christmas Day from Sydney to Brisbane. I yeah. still remember it. Victor Oscar Echo, seat 8F. <laughs> it's Christmas Day, I remember it. Oh, yeah. I was, I was under your age, actually. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was a lot younger. So I, so I, I, I was a bit late, was, yeah, later in life. Yeah. Uh, I think um, I was... My first ever flight, I would have been about one. Oh, wow. Right from here down to Tasmania. I don't remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. So we've got Bray down there in the full length. Yeah, I'd love to see a Max in the Virgin Blue colours. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, that would be the most photographed aircraft in Australia, guys. By far. No yeah. questions. Guarantee when this three, uh, Qantas 350 arrives, they will be the most photographed. Yep. For sure. Oh, definitely. People can't get enough of the big ones. Fokker 70 down there squealing. They're an interesting sounding aircraft, eh? So good. We also had a, a Virgin captain this morning give us a wave. He um, down to Melbourne. He was on Velocity 314. Oh. Uh, yeah, so he he popped up here a little while ago and he jumped on sc uh, stream with us. It's good when you're down at the loop and um, they can see up close and personal. Yes, they yep. always give you a wave.
having so much fun here guys today thank you for watching our show on the Easter Sunday I think wonderful Nick's, it's Nick got some family there coming from, from Gladstone is it or yeah his mum's flying in from Gladstone oh, okay so that's yep. on the right side so yep. we'll see that landing yeah we'll, so we'll we need go, to make sure we capture so it's on the right uh, Nick's mum is that landing here to Brisbane yeah, very grey looking skies out there Nice, comfortable flight in from Gladstone on Egypt. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for keeping us company today. We love your uh, company here on the show. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, it's been a good morning. It really has. Absolutely amazing. We're having a lot of fun, though. We are. This is awesome. Yeah. So thank you everyone for hitting that like button. Much, much appreciated. And if you're new here on the channel, welcome. I'd just like to say a big thank you to Julia and Gavin. You guys are the best. Um, thank you for having me today. Bo, oh, come anytime. Our pleasure, yes. Bo, thank, thank you so much for all your support. And those morning coffees, super-sized coffees. <laughs> They are quite good. I normally send Nick to go and get them during the week for me, so... And I actually drank the whole thing, too. <laughs> that could be dangerous. So there's Nick taking some photos there. What about your hat? He's Has anyone mentioned your hat? I like your hat. My hat. What a nice looking hat. Very nice. A very hat. special, very special hat. So QF51 here down to... Uh, going out to Singapore. Wrong. I think Mum said in the past that she sat in the jump seat in the front of an ANSET plane. Wow. I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure she said from Sydney she was in the jump jump seat. So. Probably, yeah, it was a common thing back then. You know, it really was. But I remember you saying before those mystery flights. Yep. I never got a chance to do that. I think, um, was it ANSET or did Qantas do them as well? Uh, I can't remember. I know, it was like... <laughs> Most of the destinations were either like Melbourne, Sydney or Cairns. I think that's where you'd always end up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyone sort of wondering what that mystery flight is, you'd just book a ticket, once you call it a mystery flight, and it was pretty cheap for those times anyway. And uh, yeah, you, did, you had no idea where you were going. And you just rock up to the airport, it's just a day trip, and uh, you check in and they tell you, okay, you're going to Cairns. Okay, I can see uh, Landis um, asking us, um, Julie, I'm just curious if uh, kangaroos are ever seen near the airport. <laughs> Not here. Um, Brisbane Airport is, it's, it's kind of like an island, isn't it, in some ways? In a weird way, isn't it? Like you've... Brisbane River's on one side and then you've got the, this, the Nudgee River on the other side. And then there's lots of swamp and, yeah, mangroves. There's probably a little bit of history to go with it as well. Oh, yeah. it, with so much reclaimed land that the airport's got. Um, I'm pretty sure it used to be called Crib Island out here. Yes, you you are right there. We need Lloyd, he's all that, he's got the expert. And I'm pretty sure the Bee Gees actually lived on Crib Island. Well, there you go. So. I'm sure Lloyd would be able to tell us. Oh yes, <laughs> next time we'll definitely ask Lloyd. <laughs> uh, Wayne, please say Julia, well, thanks for, uh, thank you for showing your answered hat. Uh, my pleasure, Wayne. Sure. Uh, glad you liked it. I'm about to get going. He's got to go pick up mum, but thank you for having me on, guys. It was yeah, a big to shout out to Nick, everyone. Thanks, Nick. Thank you so much, Nick, for uh, sharing all this info with us. Very, very informative. Thank you. No worries. And uh, yeah, wishing you a lot of luck. Can't wait to see you flying. 
Oh, I can't wait to be flying, yeah. yeah and Nick, remember now, you will have to give us a wave each time. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're okay with that. Yeah, of course. Give us your, give us your details, because we'll, yeah. we'll definitely will. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so there you go. go. Cool. Thank you guys. I'll, uh, Nick hope will to be see you flying again for soon. Uh, Qantas very soon. Thank you, Nick. Um, Thank you. All the best. Thanks for uh, co hosting the show with us today. It was, it was a pleasure. It was amazing. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. See ya. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Take care, mate. We'll, we'll see you soon. We'll definitely organise something soon. Absolutely. Catch you later. Okay, uh, Nick needs to get going. Yeah, yeah we're there. In the, using the front camera. Bunny Rabbit is there. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching oh, the show. <laughs> Buller! Buller has arrived. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you, Nick. See you later. Bye. Amazing to have so many like-minded people on the show. Uh, thanks both for introducing Nick to um, Julie Flights. Very, it was it was great to have him on the show. It was, yeah. I um, I didn't think he could talk that much, but <laughs> <laughs> it's good he when you're. Too, I'm so honestly you know. the same. I don't. Yeah, I, I sort of keep to myself. You know it that. Too, yep. so. but it's good being out here when you. And we've got. Uh, the rounded twist weather forecast for the whole of Australia uh, posted by uh, Christopher Cotton uh, Bo, do you want to tell us what we've got here? No, as I say, don't consider. Just, okay. just do it. Okay, just, <laughs> just do it. Right. So, yeah. we would love to uh, have you guys on our next show. Oh, 
hope you're enjoying it. All right, let's quickly have a look at the weather. Okay, bear with me because I don't know all the codes. Uh, so B E 24 degrees. Prince Vegas. Prince Vegas and Cross the Pine. Cross the Pine. And Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. Gold Coast. Yep, 25 degrees. I might jump it, have I? I think that's yeah, that's that's fine. Then we've yep. got Newcastle. Newcastle. Yep. Is 21. Oh, Newcastle and Launceston are both 21. Yeah, down in Tasmania. And then we've got Sydney and. Rock there. Yeah, it's rock. 23 degrees out. That's, that's the first part. And let's have a look at the second part, the rest of the locations. Uh, we've got Hobart. Hobart. Melbourne. Melbourne, 16 degrees. Wow. Oh, it's Melbourne, what's chilly. going on down there? A bit chilly, right? Avalon. Avalon Airport. I've driven past Avalon Airport actually. Uh, 18 degrees. Adelaide, Darwin. Ooh, 30 Darwin. degrees. Ooh. Darwin never disappoints. I actually read that Jetstar are going to start flying Brisbane to Avalon. Ooh. Perth, uh, 19 degrees. Wow, that's nippy over there too for Perth. Is it Cairns, 30 degrees? Yeah, Townsville, Townsville 29. 29. And just around the corner. That's Sunshine Coast. Original Sunshine Coast. 26 degrees. Uh, Hamilton Island. 28. That's where Dean Stock is now, Hamilton yeah. Island. <laughs> Dean, if you're watching, <laughs> hope you join yourself. And We're Canberra, 22 degrees. Thank you. Thanks, Chris, for for the update. And that was the uh, rounded twist weather forecast. So I don't know. I got, plane spot. I'll show that photo on camera. I don't know if it's going to come out, but that's you right. see the um, the retro roo, like 737. That's the uh, on the 747, isn't that, it? Yeah. Yep. So I don't know if that's going to come out. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see. But that's one of your photos, isn't it? It is. Yep. So that's the. Um, you'll see that on the retro, or well, the 737s these days at livery. Yep. I think that's Mum standing in front. Yeah, oh, that's Bo's Mum. Yep. So yeah, that's, Hi, that, Mum. that's actually here at Brisbane <laughs> Airport, isn't it? Uh, so I don't know. I had to maybe not. Ask is it? Her. It might have been Sydney because I thought she said. Yeah, actually, looking at their hangers at the back there, it might be Sydney. On the left side there, it looks like the hangers at Sydney Airport. So, yeah, that's... Ah, it's very special. We'd love to see that livery on an A350. Thank you so much, Bo, for sharing. A, a, Bo actually brought some more photos. Even though of himself as a little kid here <laughs> um, at the loop, maybe let's show this one, Gavin, <laughs> too, of a... Uh, British Airways. Oh, is it okay to show with the? With is it okay to show? Yeah, it's all right. Yep. Yeah, so we get questions about that actually a lot. Does British Airways come to Brisbane? And that's the 747 there on uh, the ground. Yeah, this photo was taken. They used to come here at so. Brisbane Airport. So that that was down the old international. Yeah, look at the tail too. Of that yeah, so that the, the rows, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they used to come out with a heap of different ones when they changed that to that current livery. They had a heap of different tails and. They always park to the west of the international. I guess that terminal runs all the way down to where it is now, but uh, you used to be able to park quickly <laughs> and get out and get a photo of it. Um, but that, they always had the, um, the stairs to them where they were parked. So it was lovely when we had speedbirds. That was nice, yeah. A bit of a delay on the right side. Bit of a queue forming. Two uh, Fockers in the lead. King Air. Ian Cathay Spoda, hello. Still hanging around, keeping us company. Very nice of you, Ian. Thanks for uh, joining us today on the show. Just on Avalon Airport. Um, is it an airport that's going to stay? open because I heard there could be a racetrack moving in over there. Oh really? Yeah. So like a big track like what Europe has. So I don't know if it's fully happening but um, you wouldn't think they'd keep the planes running there would you if they've got a racetrack going? Yeah well they have the air show there too don't they? So the yeah. international air show. I was quite surprised when we were down there in November 
because we went to the Twelve Apostles, and you go on the highway straight through Down Geelong. From Geelong, yeah. And it's so far away. Yeah, it's. And our beloved Qantas Fifty One, Kevin. Down there waiting. I'm not sure what's going on over that side at the moment. There's nothing on approach, but nothing seems to be moving. I'm not sure if you remember, Bob, but we actually uh, <laughs> we were streaming live from Qantas Fifty One. And then we've got Jetstar Dream, uh, Dreamline as well. Yeah, going out to uh, Osaka. Going to Osaka. Mum's just come back, said it was 30 plus years ago um, at Sydney Airport. Oh, okay. Sydney yeah. Open Day, so. Very nice. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing, guys. Very, very special. Faded Jetstar 797. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the sunscreen this one? No. He's got the tan nose. Uh, this one must have done a lot of uh, Bali flights. Yeah, spent a lot of time <laughs> up there in Bali. Yeah, must have. <laughs> Might be the first dreamliner to get the trade delivery. <laughs> Yeah, we'll Come back to with a big tank. Uh, we, we honestly can't wait. It's going to look amazing. What's more Australian than a Jetstar aircraft and a trade livery <laughs> with a bin tank? <laughs> <laughs> can't get any better than that. And great news, guys. We'll see that all blacks livery triple seven and new zealand very very soon be heading back home to to auckland will that be the last one for today is it uh, i think so what yeah time is that out? all right again disappeared from from the right oh was there. it on there was well, it it was on there before yeah, should be pushing back So our next heavy departure would be a Qantas uh, 51. Okay, about the so machine. We've got some movement down here now, the lines. We've got some of, uh, a couple of Fokkers too, Kevin. Alliance Airlines. Yeah, a couple of Fokkers out there. Then. Is there a reason why they queue them on 34R instead of shuffling them to 34L? What's that for? Like we've got a, like a cluster. Oh, here. Oh, you mean one nine? Oh, one nine, one right? One nine, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm thinking of in Sydney, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't worry. Why the... Yeah. Well, there must be. Uh, it's a yeah, good question. I guess these are going on the north departure. Yeah, like we saw United north. before. Um, obviously going east. Yeah, because this focus. Is, um, Heading, heading up to Townsville. Oh so yeah, so yeah, if it's a northern departure or a western departure, we'll always see them on this side. Yeah. But since, um, well, saying that, sometimes you see Batik on one nine left. So you know, it's, it depends what's going on really, and it all depends on their their flight plan departure, sort of where they're going. So United going east, it must have more of a northern flight plan filed if that makes sense yep and then yeah because it can go a couple of different ways yeah, 
Dash 8 over here, the Q400. We're getting closer and closer to 800 likes. Oh, wow. So thank you everyone for hitting that like button. If you're watching, you still haven't uh, given us a thumbs up, please do so. I really appreciate it. Oh, he's got Alpha 4. Slowing down there nicely. Uh, Wayne is saying I was in Sydney a few weeks, a few weeks ago and there was a, a Speedbird there. Yeah, the 777 they have, don't they? Or is it the 78 now? Maybe it's the 78. That's a fucking 70. I just find Speedbirds a very nice, clean livery. It is a nice livery. We definitely need to wait uh, to see the uh, departure of All Blacks uh, 777 before we end the show today before we call it a day so please uh, stay with us we've got a few more international so that, that would departures be to steal the show 767 tail in the background for sure yeah it was towering above everything else yep. <laughs> Uh, in New Guinea it's the only 767 we get now, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so, Air New Guinea. Whoa, what's that rain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Air New Guinea and the Omni. So, the Omni one I'll be in today. And they're a, a leasing company, aren't they, from America? Yeah, that's right. So, they're American crews. You'll hear their pilots have an American accent. Uh, Jive Turkey, he actually met them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's telling us. Yeah, they're at the hotel he was staying at. Yeah, uh, in um, Papua New Guinea. So QF51 to Singapore. And bye bye, going to Changi Airport. Have a good flight. It's our butter. <laughs> the butter's <laughs> departed. Very misty very busy, shower. But it's very busy at domestic terminal. <laughs> and I'm looking at it, it's just a lot of cars, many passengers coming and going. Very, uh, oh, very here it comes. busy. And day here at the airport. And more rain. Should pass fairly quickly. Like, yeah, that'd be great to see you. I love seeing those old photos. So what do we got? Electra, wow. In the early 60s, yeah. wow. So that'd be down the Eagle Farm Airport, I guess, in the DC-6. Amazing. Would love to see that. Oh, that rain's actually cold. Chester, happy Easter to you as well. Uh, good to see you here on, on a Sunday show. Thanks for tuning in.
rain. Oh, should pass. It should stick around. It's pretty foggy. <laughs> it does. I just turned around. It was right there. Oh, here comes the All Blacks anyway. All right. Very nice. Gary's saying, oops, rain falling again. Yes, make sure, Gavin, you protect the camera. <laughs> protect the baby. And <laughs> is saying, beautiful view oh, uh, through the mist. That's right. That was very unexpected rain. It's a good downpour. Pretty heavy now, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Brisbane International Speedway. <laughs> oh, that's, that's heavy. Probably you guys can hear it actually. <laughs> On the stream, yeah. Fuck a landing. Gary, no reason for the place to be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so it looks like All Blacks Triple Seven will be our last plane on today's show. I've had a lot of fun today. A lot of fun with our amazing people here on the in the chat and also Thanks. here in person keeping us company this morning wonderful thank you guys thank you for all your support your wonderful uh, comments thank you for for those of you who participated in the chat those of you who are watching in the background amazing and a big shout out to our moderators amazing yeah. amazing job <laughs> the sun is popping out over here now it's like okay let's have a look at the old black slivery uh, we just teleported down to melbourne and a shout out to Sorry, Matthew. <laughs> shout out to Matthew for the super chat. <laughs> Thank you. Very, very kind. Thanks, Matthew. Enjoying your broadcast and your banter. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Thanks for, for your company. It's always a pleasure. Amazing support. Thank you. And look at this, guys. Beautiful bird. All black slivery triple seven. I just want to get that jet star roll now on the right side. Members. And let's say goodbye to this beautiful triple seven. Got Fokker over there doing some engine runs. Thank you guys for all your support and for those of you who are able to donate and gift memberships, really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thanks the everybody. Is, the ring is gone. Just like that. Yeah, it just blew over. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is definitely our five more minutes of place fully here on Julia Flights. Happy Easter guys. the show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching. Got a nice bath coming so up there along Long X, Texas Way Bravo. So you can probably hear that Fokker over here making a bit of noise. Still there in the chat. There you go, Kelly. There's so many of our viewers. What a, a 
incredible, amazing dedication, guys. Most of you watching us for pretty much the whole show today since 6 a.m. when we started here at uh, Brisbane time. <laughs> Brian Miller. Did he change his name? He ch Brian, why are you changed your name? <laughs> the masked. The hat man. <laughs> Uh, gifted one Julia flight membership. Thank you for your support, Brian. Amazing. We love having your company, Brian. Thank you. Thanks. And congratulations to. Should be Mick Dundee. Artush. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Hello. <laughs> and Terry is here. And uh, Terry almost at the end of the show. Uh, thank you for everyone for keeping us company all right this is our five more minutes New Zealand 146. Down there holding short. That's Morton Island out there in the background. We can see that now. Beautiful part of Brisbane. It is, they, they don't do um, our flights over there anymore, do they? Via white water, water planes type thing? No. Um, probably if you want to fly to Morton Island, the best, easiest way would be a helicopter. Yep. They do have a landing strip over there. Yeah, it's a, you have to pay a, a little bit of money to land on it. But it's only, it's a, it's a grass runway, so not very long. Is that the hat man back? No, we've got Jim this time with Jim. the Super Chat. Jim, thank you so much. Uh, Jim watched the show uh, from the loop on um, the other day as well. Oh. Jim, thank you so much. Jim. Thanks for another great job today, guys. See you next week. Happy Easter. Thank you, Jim. Happy Easter to you as well. Thanks, Jim. Love your company. Thank you so much for, for this amazing support. Really appreciate it, Jim. Triple seven. That's very, very kind of you. Thanks, Jim. Uh, Kelly saying, if you guys leave, I will have to do uh, housework. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There she goes. All right, let's have a look at this one, guys. Beautiful triple seven, all black livery. Going back home. It's been a great show. I think we should call it a day, guys. I think if we could stay all day, we would. Oh, of course, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> if it wasn't because of the batteries. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much, so much fun. And 
we just love being here. Super chat from Jive Turkey. Jive! Steve! Steve. A twenty dollar super chat from oh, Steve. Steve. <laughs> wow, that's that's incredible support. Thank you so much. Um, Steve was with us earlier this morning. Uh, back up in the first class lounge. Here's a few dollars to throw into the Fokker fan uh, to keep the maintenance going and replace the stolen safety cards. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Thank you so much, Steve. Really appreciate it. Great friend of the channel. Yeah, that could be the, the Fokker Flight Fund. Thank you, Steve. Amazing, amazing support. Go for a Fokker quick, Fund. quick dash up there to Gladstone or down to Newcastle. Before we finish the show, we will be able to show uh, Jive Turkey and the rest of our viewers a Fokker. Is there a Fokker? Oh, well, Anywhere here we got this. on the ground. Do some engine runs over there here. There you go. Uh, Jive Turkey, just for you. I know you love it. <laughs> Probably hear it from your house, Steve. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Amazing community, amazing people. Uh, uh, Kelly's asking, who, um, I wonder who steals the focus safety cards. That's right. That's right. It somehow uh, slipped into the in-flight entertainment magazine and I walked out with the in-flight entertainment magazine. Let's just leave it like that, Gavin. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed our five more minutes of plane spotting. It's great fun. Oh, you still always take the in-flight entertainment magazines. Oh, I quite like looking at them with the, the shows, the aircraft type, especially when the airlines have the aircraft type in there and uh, what they're using and it shows their routes. It's always good to go back over the years and you can compare what they're doing now compared to what they used to do. Rigoberto is asking 10 more likes, please. <laughs> if you guys can hit that like button, that would be amazing before we end the stream. Um, so we can hit 800 likes. Thank you, everyone. Happy Easter. Where's, where's your Easter bunny, Gavin? Where is it? I think he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> I think he's there. I think the Easter Bunny is back. Who's that? Is that him? <laughs> Almost 800 likes. Thank you, everyone. And if you're new here, welcome. Hello from Brisbane Airport from us. Uh, from myself, Julia, and a wonderful uh, co host, Bo. Yeah, Our first thanks, class bro. member here on uh, Julia Flights. Uh, yeah, thanks to Nick too. Uh, Nick who was with us earlier. Uh, Gavin behind the camera. We had Jive Turkey, Sabrina with us as well earlier. Wonderful. Yep. And uh, Terry C who's also first class member here on Julia Flights. A big shout out to our first class members here on, um, on the channel. Thank you guys for all your support, really appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you on yeah, the next thanks one. Thanks everybody. Enjoy your... Give us a... Give you a wave. All right. Out oh, here, okay. One, one second. Yeah, we've got our front camera going. Hello. Hello from myself, Julia, and the first class member, members here on Julia Flights. 
Thank you everyone for watching the show. It was lovely to have you guys with us. Big thank you to Gavin and Julia. Uh, thank you for having me. Welcome anytime, bro. Yeah, and, and go wearing his flight mount t shirt <laughs> as well. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Happy, happy Easter from, from, from Mars and from the Easter Bunny. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. I don't want to finish. The <laughs> fucker said no. <laughs> Yeah, just after midday here and we've we've got a super chat from Kelly oh, Kelly as well oh Kelly <laughs> that's so generous thank you so much <laughs> I match your focus safety card fan uh, Jive Turkey there you go your focus safety card fan is getting bigger thank you so much amazing support Kelly as always wonderful friend here of the channel. Thank you, Kelly. Happy Easter. I've only been on two Fokker flights, eh? The Fokker 100, one up to Cairns, and then the Fokker 70 up to Gladstone, so I'd love to go back on another one before they're gone. All right. Hopefully. This is still uh, five more minutes of, of the show, Gavin. Well, there's nothing else from the international, is there? I think it's all gone. Yeah, um... That was a great show. We captured the morning rush here at Brisbane Airport with all the international arrivals and departures. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, see you on next one. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody. Thank you, Thank everybody. You. Bye. Stay safe. Oh. Bye bye. See us. Did we get 800 likes? I'm not sure. Let us know, guys, if we if we manage to get 800 likes before the end of the show. <laughs> I think we're very close. Right. <laughs> Almost there. Two more likes to hit 800 mark. Uh, Raina still watching us from Raina. Texas. Thank you. Uh, thank you, our wonderful moderators. Thank you, Rigoberto. Thank you, guys. O'Malley. Uh, Jive. Dan, thank you, guys. Ricochet. Amazing show. See you very soon, guys. And if you're new, please subscribe. We would love to see you on the next show. Bye bye.
Finland. Hi, what's going on? Wind 160 degrees, 5 knots, runway 19 left, lead land. 19 left, lead land, Boston 323. Jets up, 567, turn out departure. 567. Thank you. 
Thank you. 